It's me, C5.3. I'm coming for you. Hello everyone, how's it going? Hello, hello. Ugh. I'm very anxious. <laughs> I shouldn't be, it's a fun video game, but I am. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, boom, hi, hey, what's up? What? How's it going? Hey. Ugh. Thought it was Persona 4 gone? No, that was Persona 5. Um. I heard nothing happens in 5.3. I did this. I probably not. I think it's gonna be very low key. I think so. Five minutes until I talk out. Well, a little bit longer, but basically, sure. <laughs> yeah, why not? Um, how's it going? Oh, this song. Um, thank you so freaking much, Jake, for the hundred biddies and the very ominous and terrifying message. That's very kind. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, hello, Goose Agfaldo, Britishly delicious. I don't know why I said that instead of Danny, but sure. Uh, Creox, Downfall, Duke, Kurtman, Nick, um, Miku, Choival. Um, hello, Church Sunday, Meander, Dale, Fallen Angel, uh, Kuki, Zaid, Afril, uh, Wynn, um, Soda, hello. I hope you had a lovely evening. I hope you had a lot of fun. Uh, Joe, hello. Repulsor Raj, Dathalia. Um, hello, Battle Fries. Um, have tissues ready. Um, okay, we might have a, a BRB. <laughs> it's fine. Um, <laughs> Hey Blackie, what's up? Um, hi Rachel, hi Elliot, how's it going? Uh, hi Lizzie, how are you? Um, it is important to always have tissues when watching sad things, Kiryu taught me that. That's true, Kiryu, the life lessons we learned from Kiryu, my god. Um, I have tissues somewhere. I don't know where, but I definitely have them. I've got one on me. In the desk? No? Okay, well, we'll get to that when we when we need it. If I even do, I don't cry at anything. And it just steamrolls through 5.3.5. We're just doing it all right now, this very minute. Let's go. 
Where are all the pocket tissues? They're over there somewhere. In the realm of the green screen. Um, hi Eternal, how's it going? Um, oh, it's quite dramatic. I love this song, but not the vibe right now. Not the vibe. That works. Kiryu also taught me Dama didn't- Fuck! <laughs> yeah, Kiryu teaches us everything. Oh no. <laughs> We're gonna have to skip this one too. I can find one happy piece of music, I'm sure. The next one's pretty banging. The next one on shuffle's pretty good. We got some Stardew Valley coming up. We got a Trigun Stampede OST. It's all good. Why does this song sound like Little Soldier Boy? I kind of get what you mean. If I'm thinking of what you're thinking of. Um, do you mean Leaves from the Vine? Is that what you're thinking of? Hi, I also love 15 and I also love Prompto. And have you heard of Noctis? I love him too. And did you know Ignis is perchance cool? And Gladio, Gladio is pretty neat too. Hello fellow Final Fantasy XIV enjoyers. Hello Blood Crimson. Also, can we just point out the bravery of the makeup today? Thank you for your service and I'm so sorry for what will happen to you later. Thank I'm not gonna up. cry. Oh, seven. I've never cried at this game even once. <laughs> Rules number one for Yakuza. No laughing. Rule no one for 5.3. No crying chat I will bang you. <laughs> I see. <laughs> thank you so much for the 100 biddies. Danny and Olaj, thank you. Yakuza. Thank you both so much. Um, I'll just, shall I just take the makeup off now? <laughs> Hi, cat lady. Welcome. I'm very stressed. I wanted to talk about like, okay, well, uh, I guess we can talk about Final Fantasy spoilers. I think we're, I think we're good to go. I don't know. I want to talk about my adventures through 5.1 and 0.2 and what my theories were for this game and the fact that um, they're all dead. All of them. Hama. Hama. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so, so, so much, bud, for the 21 months. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, welcome back. All of them. Okay, one theory I have is alive and well. But like where I thought the game was gonna go is not alive and well. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe put the game up in the background so folks don't think it's your normal spoiler free just chatting. Um, <laughs> I want to watch the trailer again though. <laughs> and the thing is if I open the game, then it keeps trying to shove the Endwalker trailer down my throat and I don't want it. Um, Smitch is busy. Smitch is having a, a wonderful Saturday. I do not watch trailers. You don't get it. Did the Shadowbringers trailer? Yeah. Actually, I gave Shadowbringers trailer as a example of a trailer I do like. <laughs> um, the Endwalker trailer. The, the Endwalker trailer is so good though. It's I just, I don't know, but I want to know. I will not understand a thing without context, but I will listen to whatever you have to say. Thank you. That's so sweet. Um, so Final Fantasy XIV is a good game. Great, some would say. Um, have you heard of Xenos? <laughs> like, have you, like, what, if, what, have you though? <laughs> something, something high or something like that. <laughs> something, something high or something like that. Hey, hi, hello, howdy. Xylia, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Thank you. And starting a hype train, my goodness. The guy with the fat ass. That's all he's ever known for. <laughs> what? <laughs> Xenos here, Galvis? Xenos Bay, Galvis? Um, is anyone really prepared for Xenos? No, I wasn't. His new outfit? Hello? I like it a lot. I like it more than his old outfit. Um, 
Our friend, our enemy, our amigo from Alamigo. Yeah, the boy, the man, the myth, the legend. I like his new outfit. I like that he's now got like a puppy. That I think that was very good for him. <laughs> I think it was a very healthy move for Xenos to get out of Garlemald, adopt a dog, and just um, <laughs> live life to the fullest. I think it was very good. I think it was a toxic family environment at home and I think it's time for him to see the world um wait he adopted a dog oh wait I'll, I'll read the line I screenshotted it um <laughs> actually did I I think I did hold on where's the dog bring me the hound I take far too many screenshots of this game Jesus um Oh. Before your majesty, I am but another dog, lost in want of a new master. That is a pet adoption right there. <laughs> Woof. <laughs> um, hi, nasty crying boy, what's up? Xenos is alright, I guess. I disagree. I think Xenos is fascinating. I think he's so good. I I adore Xenos. Um, I also do think it's helped. I don't know if you've read any of like the Lodestone ones. I got the book for my birthday, but um, there's like two stories I've read of Xenos so far in this book that are so good. One is with um Yotsu, and one is of his like childhood. And I think it brings interesting dimensions to him. Is Nasty Crime Boy related to your Persona characters? It's it's like a it's an empire, the Nasty Crime Boy Empire. There's an actual book, uh, Chronicles of Light, is what it's called, uh, but you can get them all uh, online on the Lodestone thing. Seen this was yet another person to hop on the bandwagon of adopting a pet during the pandemic. <laughs> The best part of Yakuza is uh, how Hannah finds a character fascinating who isn't going to kill everyone because they can. I'm trying to understand what this <laughs> sentence means. As in like, I like a character who's not a murderer? Is that it? Hi Violet, what's up? Um, 10 gigabytes? I have no clue how big mine is. Hold on. Oh, I think that was a way easier way I could have done this. Oh, okay. Well, it's too late now. It didn't even tell me. Okay, that's fine. Properties. I'm at five gigabytes, 5.4 gigabytes of screenshots right now. But I'm not done. So, I have time, I suppose. I made the new Final Fantasy BRB screen uh, one of my favorite screenshots I've ever taken. Look. Wow. Look. Wow! Thank you for looking. <sighs> Thank you. This is also a post PC death. True, I lost a lot of screenshots. Um, I did lose a lot of screenshots when my PC died. Your screenshot folder got to 5.4 before you did. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. So that's four gigabo in what three months? Tell me what a mess you are. Oh god. She is a mess. <laughs> um when did I get a new PC? Late December. Yeah. Yeah. Winnie's very muddy. She's she's not allowed in here. Well, she is. She just came in, but she's not getting me muddy. Um. Anyway, okay. I'm just gonna get into Final Fantasy 14 spoilers. I don't think anyone is here who doesn't want them, but I'm just saying it. We're getting into them, okay? A little bit, bro. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. So my whole theory, thoughts, plans for what 
I thought was going to happen in Endwalker and such. Well, I think those are all destroyed. I don't think that's happening. Um, I thought... Okay, so firstly, I thought Black Rose was going to be like the biggest thing going on in Endwalker. I thought that was like, I thought we were setting that shit up. I thought that was like, that was, I thought we were going to go to Garlemald. I thought we were going to go and help with Black Rose. I thought that was going to be a whole thing. And then Xenos off screen just went, I've, I've stopped that. Don't worry about it. I'm done. That's, don't worry. That's not a thing anymore. Um, I thought Elidibus would literally not even show up until like 5.5. I thought he just would not be a thing. I thought he was going to have like a long term plan from his whole like, I'm, I'm going to go to the, I'm going to stand on the moon again and then I'm going to yum 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 And I thought that was going to be like a long term goal, you know, a, a plan. No, he just like came straight away and was like, haha, I'm a little bussy. How did you see through this ruse? My God. And he has such a good voice. His voice is so good. I want to know what he looks like. I want to see his face. I want to see it. I want to, I want to know. I want to know. I need to know. Um... So that's fun. That's cool. His voice is so good. I love how he's being characterized by like uh, how Ariange talks about him and how he's so not like Emmett at all. I think that's really cool. Um, I like how he also is like, God, how did Emmett catch feelings for these sundered fools? <laughs> I love that. I love that so much. I love that. I treasure that. I think it's the best in the world. Um, but yeah, so I thought Elidibus was just going to be setting stuff up, but he's here. He's not. He's 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 right here. And then Hydaelyn, I don't even. I don't know. I. What here feel think everyone everyone everyone. Everyone, everyone can hear, feel, think. Everyone. Don't know how I feel about that. Um, the stars thing is cool. Echoes of a Fallen Star was like one of my favorite quest names ever, actually. It was so good. I recognize these words, but not in this order. This one's all right. Xenos snipped that plot thread for you. I know, I was like waiting for that to become an entire plot. Like, I thought that was going to be a huge thing. And Xenos just went, eh, it's not that good. Let's just, it's a bit boring, isn't it? Do you know that meme of three dragon heads where two are serious and one is goofy and not intimidating at all? That meme fits Emmett a little bit so well. <laughs> Aww. I'm not even going to say who you're, you're putting on the goofy dragon head. It's not, it's not true. It's not true. It's fine. Um, most important part of 5.2 was, of course, Aaron Dre briefly becoming Jesus. That was incredible. I would actually like to talk to whoever wrote that scene, though, because the fact that they made Orion J have an entire cutscene where he was walking on water and instead of just learning how to freaking swim, he was like, okay, I'm going to learn an entire spell, which means that I walk on water and do not have to get wet or like move my body in too vigorous a manner because that would be a disaster. And they took that and they took Thancred being all sassy. And then they said, okay, let's have, let's give them dizzy headaches, which is definitely reference to the fact that they've been on this planet too long and that they're going to suffer. And then have a little cutscene of Thancred and Orange talking about Reen. Because <sighs> the emotional roller coaster I went through, it was a lot. The way Thancred jumped in to save him in his little side. <laughs> yes. Swimming is hard. I mean, I would say walking on water is harder. <laughs> Hi, Soul Blazer. How's it going? Um, 
I would like to say that the Exarch has my entire heart and and soul and um love and um the fact that he tried to open a, a, a letter with a salmon a piece of salmon is just I just I think about it so often I just would like that animated and I just want to see it can I echo into seeing that please because I need it I think it would fix most of my problems Did you finish Eden? I've done the first two tiers and then I'm doing the last tier before 5.5. Is the plan. A struggly boy he is. He's so beautiful. And I love how often he just like look. You love him too, I, I get it. Um <laughs> Okay, bye! I love how often he looks at the wall or like the scions in general and is just like i will i will see you home i will get you home i promise i promise i will do this because i mean he should feel very bad <laughs> like i don't want him to feel bad but also he did some pretty bad stuff and that was a good reason for it sure but what he did was kind of awful um so i just love like his passion in trying to get us home and like determination i am very scared about what that means for him because i don't think it means anything good i am um, you know the whole alag blood thing i'm a little apprehensive about that it's fine i'm sure it's gonna be great and fine and fine and good and great even um what else is there oh Ali say and the Exarch talking gives me so much unbridled joy. I love that Ali say is like kind of a little toxic around him. <laughs> I love Ali say so much and I love their relationship and that he keeps being like, I've sacrificed myself. And she's like, don't you fucking dare. Stop. I've had enough of this in my life stop your bullshit stop it stop because that's great i love that i think it's excellent um he didn't mean to grab the others i know but i don't think that's an excuse <laughs> um it's still a bad thing <laughs> alice is like i am the world's number one fan and garaha is fighting for her position Sorry, there's a very excited dog it's just running rampant. He's just a silly little cat guy. He is. It's the wall's fault for not letting the gate open. <laughs> Exarch and Ali say can be co-presidents of the wall fan club. Yes. My favorite Ali say dialogue is dialogue we don't even get to hear. And it's just in the red mage quest where the red mage guy is like oh my god when i was trading alice like she would not stop going on about you she like loves you she like thinks you're the best she just thinks you're the coolest and i just i cry i scream i love wow mm, winnie also loves 5.3 she's actually she's she's reached the end she's walked all the way Alice hating her sacrifices is so valid after her grandfather. I love that she's just like ceases bullshit. I agree. I think it's such a good take for her character. Um, Cause she is so like heart on her sleeve and loving and just, she wants people to be happy and good. And she's so, yeah, she's just so like genuinely vulnerable in that way that I love that that's how it kind of manifests when she talks to the Exarch. Winnie is an end walker. So true. First Final Fantasy stream I catch. Welcome. The Horny Pastry Puffer. Beautiful name. Excellent name. Incredible. 10 out of 10. I like her dunking on her brother, having no idea how it's even flow. I love Alice and Alfie talking at all times. 
It is the best. It is the greatest. Alex, they're gonna fight, uh, fist fight Xenos for the wall's attention. <laughs> the Exarch, Alex and Xenos are all just like having a three way <laughs> fight. <laughs> no, I love the wall more. No, I love the wall more. How dare you? I love them. I've known them longest. Well, I've known them in different timelines. Kinda, not really. I. Yum, yum, yum. And I think that's excellent. I think that's good. Um, hi Sarah, what's up? The people yeah. music. Yes. Hold on, I'm gonna shut the door. Okay, Winnie is lying on my feet, and I guess that's... <laughs> Hello! Are you very comfy down there on my blanket that I would like? Okay, it's fine. I guess it's yours. It was never mine to begin with. It's her blanket. It's okay, I have a super secret hidden second blanket that I actually do put out for her that she never sits on. She wants my blanket. Specifically! If you just want to stay down there, Winnie, that's fine. It's chill. Winnie is here to enjoy your tears. I've never cried in my life. I, Winnie has ne- Winnie, never, no tears. Zero. Nuh-uh. Winnie, if I could just shuffle in. Okay, I'll just, I'll, it's okay. Right, shall we play the, the game? I don't wanna do it. I don't wanna do it. <laughs> oh no. Thank you so much, Sarah. That's very kind. Trailer time? Yeah. Trailer first. What are your thoughts about Garbu? I love Garbu more than life. I love, I did I tear up quite a bit when Garbu was, when Alice, ooh. <laughs> When when Alice was like, oh my god, this is not this. If I learn this spell, it might be able to work on Garbu. Maybe. I love Garbu. I love Garbu so much. I think Garbu was when I felt. I've cried several times in this game, like before. But the Garbu scene, when Alice goes and talks to Garbu after we're like losing everyone in 4.5? 4 4.4? 4 .4. Yeah, that was like a sucker punch to the freaking heart. I, I, I that was, uh, no. <clears throat> Shall we play Lahi? Do we want a Lahi before, before the trailer? <clears throat> Gabu is the bestest. So true. I love Gabu and and Angelo. I love Angelo too. Always oh, Lahi. We can do we can do a Lahi. Found you on YouTube and have been binging your Final Fantasy VII Remake videos all night. Oh my gosh, thank you. How's it going, Ant? I hope you're well. Um, God, I'm so excited for the next uh, uh, rebirth, whatever it's called. Lahi. YouTube said no, not today. Good luck with 5.3, thank you. I feel like I might need it. <gasps> when, he's, when he's left the blanket. It's my blanket now. Do you know Lahi? I will play Lahi. Music. 
スタート This is this is real music. <laughs> number on it how many times have you watched this video i i don't want to say <laughs> many times sometimes back to back This is the real Shadowbringers. <laughs> this is the real Shadowbringers. <laughs> this is it. Ah, wow. Right, now I have to... Now trailer time! I can put off the game a little bit longer. It brings a tear to my eye. It's just so beautiful. Hi Chris, how's it going? <clears throat> Why am I so far over here? Over here. Shadow bringers, bring me the shadows. <laughs> Shadow banger. <laughs> Peak bringers, let's go. I got my favorite character incoming. See you, spirit guns. Enjoy your luck. My favorite character, wow. <laughs> I 
You got me? No? Thank you so much, um, Anna Shadowstar, uh, and Takada for the follows welcome. I need to turn up my music. By the way, oh, oops. Oh, 
Tom Holland did a bunch of ads for Shadowbringers? What? Are you kidding? I don't know if this is a meme. The Tom Holland... Is Tom Holland who I'm thinking of? It's real. It is Spider-Man. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. I do need to witness these with my own two eyes. I do. I do, I do, I do wish to see them. I do. Um, thank you so much for the follow, welcome. Um, I've seen the new live action ads. I haven't seen the Tom Holland ones. <laughs> At least I think I've seen some of the new ones. Um, anywho, I have to not be a dancer. Because that's not high enough level yet. Um, Winnie. Winnie, you have to be good. I have to focus on the story, Winnie. I have to. I have to focus on the story. There's so many things happening. The theories, Winnie. They're gonna go out of control. You don't understand. You're just a puppy. You could you, you could never get it. Sorry. Love that the Sage gear set is called DPS. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> um Alexander Sinia's fashion models. It's so bizarre. <laughs> it's so bizarre. Asinian's chicken legs, you'll always be famous. They are, it's it was it's it's very strange. Mm -hmm. What am I doing? Where am I going? Am I in the right place? Yes, okay. They should have made Estimian's legs thicker. They, I think so. I think a lot of things should have changed. There are three class archetypes in this game. There's red DPS, blue DPS, and green DPS. And I am green DPS always. Winnie. You're out of control. My goodness gracious. Oh, beautiful wings. Oh my goodness. Hello. I like saving a high V slow makes so much sense. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna let my dog out. Are you gonna be very distracting and a problem? Maybe. She's excited for the very boring 5.3 patch. I think so. Um, honestly, she should sleep anytime soon because she had a big old walk. Oh my goodness, there's so many friends! Wow! Ugh. By the way, are you doing the Eden Raid series for Shadowbringers or just focusing on MSQ? I've done the, the first two Eden Raids. Um, and then I'm doing the last one with right before 5.5 .5 is when I was told to Todd's job. Ah, Mr. Secretary, will you be venturing forth today? Do be sure to take care of so. Though they say the star shower was harmless, one can never be too careful. But I concede it is not for me to tell the warrior of darkness how to look after herself. Old habits, you understand. Ah, Hackney! How very opportune! Ah, my favourite librarian. Greetings, my friend. Do you perchance have a moment to spare? Wonderful, wonderful. I wanted to thank you, you see, for revealing to us the truth of the Warriors of Light. After all these years, your tales set the record straight. Finally, the people see them as the great heroes they were. 
all the great hero he is in the case of Oddbet. You would, you too were surprised to see him, I think. A little. No, I remember. I don't. <laughs> At the time, I was not certain what to make of it all. But I could see the effect his words had on those around me. And then the stars rained down from the sky and, well, you know the rest. When the commotion died down, you were nowhere to be seen, but I was determined to express my gratitude. And so here I am. Thank you, Hakane, for giving voice to the truth and restoring the warriors of light to their rightful place in history. Should you, perhaps, wish to have your account of these matters committed to writing, I would be more than willing to serve as your scribe. Indeed, if there is anything I can do to help, anything at all, you need only say the word. Da. Yeah. Mm. Are you ready for the chillest Final Fantasy fourteen patch? Yes, the rare filler patch. Mm -hmm. This one's gonna be pretty chill. Who did you choose to go to your in-room? I chose a uh, Lament. Um, no, Giot. <laughs> I may have just exposed my favorite warrior of light as well, but um, Giot is who I chose. Uh, and I'm very glad I did. Um, what can you tell me? I beg your pardon? You wish to ask me about the Warriors of Light? Forgive me, but I dare say you already know more about them than any living soul, save for Arbor himself, of course. Unless you refer to the Warriors of Light more broadly. If so, I may yet be able to assist you in some small way. Excellent. I shall return to the cabinet at once and look up the relevant texts. Pray join me at your earliest convenience. Lamet and Arba, I love them so much. No rest for the righteous, it would seem. Do not let me keep you, miss. I bid you a pleasant day. Thank you. No, I loved, um, the, the, the only one I haven't done yet is, like, the magic... Um... <laughs> the magic one the magic dps whatever it is i don't know um that's the only one i haven't done yet um but i've done all the others let us go to the cabinet of curiosity I'm going the wrong way. Beautiful. Mm. Boom, boom, boom. I'm crying already. I thought you said crying was a bannable offense. <laughs> What's happening? It's all falling apart. Oh no. Oh no. So I'm just gonna try to fix the green screen a smidge, but wearing a green shirt was probably not the right move. We'll stick with it. Goodbye, Rich. It's been real. I can't ever unread that passage screaming Lament's last for Arbor. Huh? 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 Ah, Hackney. Excellent timing. I have but this moment finished gathering the materials for our lesson. As a great many works make reference to the Warriors of Light, I shall, with your permission, focus only upon the details that seem most relevant. Oh, the babies! The Warriors of Light, you say? 
Forgive us, but we couldn't help overhearing. We've been out keeping watch over the Crystarium, but it appears to be business as usual. So I thought I'd spend some time brushing up my knowledge of familiars, and Alfie and I volunteered to help. I actually came on a different errand, but I'd be interested in hearing about the Warriors of Light as well. May I join you? Of course, of course, the more the merrier. If you would care to find a table below, I shall be down with the books in a moment. The babies. Were well, one to pour over the annals of frantic history, one would note the comparatively frequent recurrence of individuals hailed as warriors of light. Ardbert and his comrades require no introduction, but many others bore their epithet, epithet, sure, long before them. To name but a few, there was Tolthwill, legendary first king of Lakeland, Rodfort and Solard, the fabled Drawn and Galgent duo of Fobert, and no list of Rantic heroes would be complete without the Archmage Tuner of Ronka. In older text, she too was called a warrior of light. It did surprise me how ready people were to forget the negative associations of the title, but it makes sense if it's been around for centuries. Verily, verily? Excuse me? You've been possessed by Uriangé. Verily. In ages past, it was simply a synonym for hero. In the wake of the Flood, however, light came to be regarded with fear. The title used not to, not to exalt, but to revile. Verily. A far cry from its beginnings. This, my friends, is Northrend's oldest epic. The original tale of the struggle between good and evil. In a time when all lay shrouded in darkness, a prophesied hero rose to deliver the world from its doom. Fighting in the name of the light, the hero styled himself its foot soldier, and thus did he come to be known as the Warrior of Light. It's Mr. Final Fantasy! What? 27 months. <laughs> That's almost two years. Hope you are doing well, Yakuber. Thank you so much. Thank you for the 27 months. Thank you so much. I hope you are very well as yourself. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. John Final Fantasy himself! What? No way. Curiously. In the centuries that followed, other heroes appeared who claimed the self-same epithet, despite sharing no discernible connection with their predecessors. And in time, Warrior of Light came to be a name accorded to all men and women of uncommon skill and valour. Well, well, the plot thickens. As you know, the title of Warrior of Light is also used in the source. I love that their feet can't reach the floor, and I just would like to point that out because I love it very much. They are so small. Though the manners in which individuals have earned it are many and varied, heroes have been honoured thus since antiquity. Nor does the custom show any sign of dying out, as you can well attest. It makes you wonder, doesn't it? It surely can't be a coincidence. 
Indeed not. Let us imagine a man who has awakened to the echo and is able to hear Heidelin's voice. As she styles him, so too does he style himself, a warrior of light. Of course, being blessed with the echo does not in itself make one a hero, and conversely, there will have been no few heroes who were not blessed with it. But such distinctions are immaterial to the masses, and over time they came to use the title Warrior of Light and the word hero interchangeably. Sounds about right. It would be interesting to see if the theory holds true in the other worlds, if crossing the rift were that easy. I was thinking I was special. Um, what's in a name? It doesn't change anything. Well, I think a name can mean a lot, and I imagine it would be terrible to have people call you something which didn't feel right. At any rate, Assuming all of this is true, and there's a common thread behind the epithet, I doubt the Asians will have been amused. To have the word at large associate light, and by extension Hydaelyn with good, must have added insult to injury. <laughs> um, um, what are you talking about? <laughs> While this discussion is undeniably fascinating, I wonder, should I be privy to it? Mayhap it would be better if I excused myself. <laughs> oh, uh, no need for that, my friend. Pray accept our apologies. Your lesson on the Warriors of Light have give, has given us much to ponder. Oh, oh, did someone say Warriors of Light? Ah! Oh no! Oh! Little kitty baby! Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Ricky Tio, are you alright? Oh! <laughs> She's in pain, buddy! <laughs> ah, my precious tomes. Ah. Ah, did I not say you must take care in the cabinet? Hi, Minnie. You too, Arakul, Arawal. We're sorry, Master Maureen. Oh, aren't you? Did I meet you before, child? Are you the Arbit child? The warrior of darkness. Baby. <laughs> My name is Ricky Tio, and... And I want to help everyone. Please, tell me what I have to do to be a hero. To be a warrior of light. That is tiny. I used to be that small. Wow. I want a baby version of my own wall. Just, just, oh, look how tiny she is. Oh my God. Oh, ah, oh, oh. uh, do you remember me? When you returned from the sea with the Exarch, I asked you how you became so strong. I do remember you. Setting aside our misgivings, it would seem childish to discourage the young lady. Let's hear what she has to say. No harm done. To the children, at least. <laughs> Even children want to become warriors of light. The children's inquisitiveness is to be commended, but uh, uh, my precious troops. No! No! We're sorry we knocked over the books. It all has ribbons in their hair. Are they new? They're one of my outfits, but yes, I do sometimes take them off. But she do, and she has pretty ribbons. Yes. 
Yes. Um... Hello, child. I wouldn't become a warrior of darkness or a warrior of light. I think being a warrior... You... There's so many people we've killed. I just would like you to have a happy life, you know? So, I want to be a warrior of light, but not one that fights with a sword and all that. Okay, good start. No, I want to be the kind that fights with potions and heals people. An apothecary. And I'm going to help everyone in the Crystarium. No, and all of Norvrand. When I told Arkel and Irwell this, they said that the cabinet should have loads of tomes about potions. But this place is so big and we don't have the faintest idea where to begin searching. At this story, I'm not going to get anywhere. If one knew where to look, one should indeed be able to find treatises, treatises on potions here. Even so, I fear they may prove a little difficult for one so young. But, hmm. Esteemed warrior of darkness, perhaps you might accompany young Rihitio to uh, Spagrix. Rather than through tombs, I believe she stands to learn more by observing the Shurgun of their work. One day I'll learn how to pronounce every word in this game and I'll be unstoppable. Sounds like a plan. It seems we've finished here, so we'll come with you. Um, Last one is a rotten egg. Ha! I'll have you know I'm really fast. You're going to be the rotten egg. True. I gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. When we talk about 5.3 being pain, we meant voicing the lines. I <laughs> see. You are really gonna work on my pronunciations of things. <laughs> run, 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 run. Run. I'm gonna be such a rotten egg. Oh my god, this is so embarrassing. I am the most rotten egg that's ever existed. Good job, everyone. It appears there aren't so many patients at the moment. I only pray that such peaceful days continue. Oh my god, that's literally a picture of my wall. Where did you get that soda? What the hell? How? After you've finished helping Riki, can you help us become Warriors of Light too? Shesamil's medicines work really well. I just wish they didn't taste so bad. A warrior who fights with potions. It's certainly innovative. I prefer a blade myself, but each <laughs> to each her own. I'm a healer, Alexei. What do you mean? It's fine. See how our eyes shine, my friend. We have made her day. Oh! As seen machination on the it wouldn't do to dash the dreams of one so young. The exarch would feel the same, I believe. <laughs> Right, I'm here. What do I do? What do I do? Stop. This is very cute. Well now, to what do I owe the pleasure of so many bright-eyed visitors? Is that the way of it, sweetie? You wish to learn about medicine? That's right! I want to become a warrior of light who uses potions to help people all over the world. Well, that is a very noble endeavor, and, I, and you aren't alone in it. No fewer at our infirmary yearn to venture forth as warriors of light. But ultimately, they have all decided not to pursue that dream. Huh? Why? Because the people here need them too, sweetie. The guards who place themselves in harm's way to keep us safe. The artisans who toil tirelessly that we might sustain our way of life. And younglings like you, who are the future of the Crystarium. They couldn't simply abandon the Musi. And so, difficult though it was, they made the decision to remain. Then, does that mean my dream isn't any good? Oh, sweetie, yours is a wonderful dream, and it would be my pleasure to help you to pursue it. If we all work hard, that day will come when our shurgans may set forth to aid folk in every corner of the realm. As we strive towards that day, I hope that we can rely upon you as well. Though I must warn you, ours is not an easy path. No, you must work very, very hard. <laughs> I 
baby. I'm not afraid of hard work. I'll become the best apothecary ever. Just you watch. <laughs> That's quite the spirit. Without further ado, then, may I entrust you with the task? I have placed an order at Sweet Sieve for a potion ingredient, and I would like you to go and collect it. Oh, an ingredient! Leave it to me, miss! My, such an abundance of energy. Though I can't help wonder if she'll be alright by herself. I can watch over her. My apologies, but would you mind accompanying her? When you arrive at Sweet Sieve, speak with a woman named Grossine, and she will point you in the right direction. On it. I shall join you. As the one who suggested this course to Rikitio, I would, I would assist in her first steps. And what about the two of you? Are you coming along too? Well, we do want to become warriors of light, just not the same kind as Riki. So we'll wait for you here, warrior of darkness. When you return, please teach us how to fight. In that case, Rena and I shall keep them company and take the opportunity to ask about their aspirations. I love them all. I don't want them to become warriors of darkness, but I love them. Um. Is it up here? I think. I shall attempt. I may have finished all of Shadowbringers, but do I know my way around up the Crystarium? Even slightly? Even a little bit? No. Absolutely not. If only our world had no need of heroes. <laughs> I believe I am in the wrong place. Up? Huh? Okay, maybe I was closer before I teleported. And Hannah thought we were kidding when we said nothing happens in 5.3. Yo, this is great content. What do you mean? I'm seeing a little baby Mikate, and they are the cutest thing to have ever existed. I mean, there does seem like slightly pressing issues going on in the background, but that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. It's all good. It's good. It's fine. Hello. Oh, little babies. Are you okay? Mm, are you small enough? Ah, there you are. As it turns out, the ingredient still wants for harvesting. So we are going about that now. Okay. How small exactly are baby lalas? They literally, you, you cannot see them on the screen. Ah, the <laughs> It isn't the warrior of darkness herself. May I assume you are here with Master Alf, you know? I am. Right. Lest you wonder, Shesamil's order is for grapes. As busy as we have been of late, however, I regret to say we didn't have the time to harvest them. So it was with apologies that I asked Master Alfino and his young companion to help themselves to the fruits on the vines. Perhaps you could lend them a hand? It's the undersized grapes you want to pick. They're too small for normal consumption, but suitable for making wine and medicine. Okay. <laughs> actual potatoes, actual potatoes. <laughs> they are little, little baby potatoes. I'm pretty sure it's like a quest I did. I think for it was, it was for the Doman Enclave restoration. 
I had to eat some children lalas in a fight. I'm pretty sure. Oh, you're here too. We're picking little grapes. It's quite fun. Here you go. Here's some grapes. You did what? Yeah. <laughs> There's like... They weren't children lalas. They were just adult lalas. Were they? I'll, I'll take your word for it because that is a bit better, I think. But the adult lalas were then attacking children. <laughs> you know, I, I'll just move past that. Wow, you've picked this many already? Amazing! I dare say we have enough between us. Shall we take them back to Chasamil? <laughs> she has the little joy emo. It's so cute. <laughs> I can't wait to see what she's going to do with them. Tell me, Riki. What made you want to become an apo apothecary and warrior of light? Why? Well... A while ago, I fell sick. Really sick. My body was burning up and I felt so weak I couldn't even get out of bed. Then a traveling apothecary came and gave me a potion to drink. It was the foulest thing I'd ever tasted, but it made me get better. She was so brave. The apothecary, I mean. She went around taking care of people, even when it was dangerous. And I decided I wanted to help people just like her. So I started brewing potions out of grass and giving them to my friends. But I didn't really know what I was doing, or if there was anything else I could do. Then, not long ago, a neighbor told me he was going to become a warrior of light and go traveling the world helping people. And I thought, that's the same as what I want to do. I see. Out of curiosity, what did your neighbor do in the end? Ayla? Oh. Oh. I haven't seen him for a bit. So he must already be out there looking for people to help. Thayla, one of the gods awakened by the star shower. Oh! Oh! Thank you for sharing our tale, your tale with us, Rikitio. I myself took inspiration from one not unlike your traveling apothecary, and I hope her good example will spur you on to realize your dreams. But it will not be done in a day. Such lofty goals are reached through hard work and persistence, through countless little acts of heroism, like delivering the grapes to Chesimil. It would seem I have been laboring under a misapprehension. I had convinced myself that it was Elidibus who had sowed the desire to become warriors of light within the hearts of the people. But I see now that the impulse to aid their fellow man uh, abided them with abided within them from the first. Elidibus did no more than give it a name. And as he so kindly proclaimed, we must return to our own world ere long. With the exarch labouring tirelessly, I doubt not but that a way will be found. Yet, I believe I speak for us all when I say I cannot leave in good conscience, not until we have dealt with Elidibus. This is no longer a strange and distant land, after all. Norverent has become a, as a home to us, and her people our own. Hmm. Let us return. Fabrics. Um, it wouldn't do to keep her admirers waiting. Damn, we're gonna deal with Elidibus in the patches. He's not, he's not even in Endwalker. Just gonna sort him out right now. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. 
last time I remember seeing a child Lala was in ARR and I'm pretty certain it was a yellow quest. I don't know. Also, there's a child Lala in the gold saucer, but she's not noticeably smaller than the other Lalas. I have no clue. And I'll take the word for it. I'm just delighted at the, the baby cat. I don't remember seeing a baby cat ever. So I am very happy. This is Lala propaganda. There are no children Lala because Lala are just ultra demons. <laughs> Why's that Lala? <laughs> you just spoiled a secret side quest. I know it. Um, Rikitio was beaming with pride when she returned. It may only have been a simple task, but she won't soon forget this achievement. After chatting with Arkil and Erwal here, we came to an agreement, but I'll let them explain the request from themselves. What? What is your request? Ricky didn't make you drink one of her grass potions, did she? Not yet. Huzzah! You're back! We're ready to start learning. Oh, sorry. Ricky Tio has delivered her grapes, as have I. Thanks for helping with the grapes, Warrior of Darkness. In return, I promise to brew you a potion one day. That is very, very sweet. My goodness. I have just missed all of these baby Minkate. I'm a fool. She gives you books. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Chloe's a cat, isn't she? Wow. I'm so sorry, Ricky Sio. You were not the first. Um, me and Chloe are arch enemies, I'm afraid. So I forget. She gives me the worst, the worst stickers in the world you're worthless now no no my thanks for your kind help sweetie we now have all the ingredients we require from the grapes we shall make a vinegar to which we will add elf grass and a few other uh, herbs to produce an invigorating syrup though it's unspeakably sour it does wonders for the constitution lovely as part of her studies, I may just have to give Rikitio a little taste. Hee <laughs> hee. Mm. I love the idea of Hackney feuding with a child over sticker placement. But it's real. It's real. Oh, honey croissant? Yum. Warrior of Darkness, if you finish helping Riki, won't you show us some fighting? Not play fighting, but honest to God's fighting. We already have some enemies that you could uh, deal with. Vampire bats. The gods say they've become a pest around the Crystarium of late. We tried to sneak outside to hunt them, but the gods caught us and sent us home. But they shouldn't mind if you were doing the fighting and we were just watching. The children told us as much while you were away. And in preparation, Chesamil kindly furnished us with some lures for the bats. While the creatures won't give you any sport, bear in mind that the younglings will be watching. That's to say, put on a good show, yes? Right, let's head outside at once. Everyone, follow me. Oh no. I gotta look cool. Uh, Ali Sage, wait just a... Uh, uh, come on then, children. <laughs> I shall remain here. The other children I leave in your car. My unruly sister included. She's the best out, you know. What? Everyone's going outside to see you fight? Oh, I want to watch too. But no, I have to study. I'll stay here and help Shesimil make the syrup. I mean, going full babysitter? She has to look after Oriandra and Thancred all the time. She's she's used to it now. Um. I literally love whenever Reen is like, you two need to rest. And they're like, well, I guess so. Sorry, sorry. We'll rest. I'm sorry. You're so right, Reen. You're the best. You're so, you're so correct. Absolutely. True. But on a good show, LB3 the bats. <laughs> I'll LB3 the bats. Chloe's sister is a delight, though. Do I know Chloe's sister? My NPC lore is not what it should be. Our favorite disaster dance. Yes. 
Yes. It's a crafting gathering thing. I see. I see. Beautiful weather we have here. It should be safe enough for the children here. We've heard the tales, but at last we can see you fight with our own eyes. We've been waiting for you, warrior of darkness. Everyone's here. Good. Let's get started, shall we? As the name suggests, vampire bats feed on blood. And originally being nocturnal creatures, they've grown more active with the return of night and become a nuisance. To draw them out, we'll use Chester Mill's lairs, which work by exploiting their heat-seeking behavior. The bats are wont to nest under the eaves, so you are likely to attract more if you place the lures near buildings. I have here six lures, three each for you and me. As proof of a successful kill, I want you to gather up their fangs. Whoever collects the most is the winner. Oh, you're hunting too! Yes, well, there's nothing like friendly competition to bring out the best in Hackney. <laughs> anyway, while we hunt the bats, you two are to stay with Reen. She's really strong too and will keep you safe. You got this, Queen, I believe. Without further ado, then let the contest begin. I want Ali say to win. I don't want to win. I... She's got this. I... I... I just want the best for my daughter. I just want her to have everything she ever wants. She she can have the win. And I don't mind. It's yours, Ali. Say please. Don't get violent. Oh wait, didn't she say under buildings? I'm never mind. All good. But she, wouldn't she be upset if she thinks you let her win? She would, but I would, I, it would be a secret. She would have no clue. None whatsoever. all the way out there what the hell well i'll yeah i'll go this way um yeah no i know demon lord thank you um she's the first custom delivery person for crafters and gatherers ah uh -huh, i see i see i see it's pretty quick to fly there Flying is, um, it's, it's on the to-do list. It's, it's, it's on the to-do list. It'll, it'll get, um, Hackney would never accept a one single zone. <laughs> that, um, there's just like one zone that I think flying is is necessary. Um, like I I would miss all the beautiful beautiful purple trees, the the nature of the area if I was flying, because I I I would miss all that if I was too high. Akane doesn't believe in flying. We could say we're meant to stay on the ground. <laughs> Flying is actually a bug that Yoshi B hasn't patched out yet. <laughs> mm hmm, mm hmm. I couldn't agree more. I'm so glad you understand. My flying is great. It's, um, it's, it's, it's great. I mean, it's, it's, it's. That's. I mean, come on, that's, that's beautiful. That's... Anyway, wow, destination, let's go. It's better than I thought, to be honest. Thank you. Thank you. I think it's pretty damn good.
Okay. Fangs achieved. Now to see if I beat Ali say or not. Ali say, I promise, even if I beat you, you are better than me. I believe me. Trust. You are the expert. I could never red mage like you. I'm terrified of red mage. Truly. You are the real gamer. I am, I am, but, uh, I am a fool. Only trying to live up to your, your skills, Ali say, I promise. Bridge Mage is fun. I'm sure it is. I'm just scared of it. The bats didn't stand a chance. Wow, that was amazing! Well thought, Hackney. The children were hanging on to your every move. As was I, to be honest. Though, I know the tally. May I see your fangs for good measure? Is Hannah talking to herself again? I've got bad news about what streaming is. <laughs> Apologies for the wait. My fangs. Not a bad haul, even if I do say so myself. Come on. Come on, Ali, say you got this. <laughs> Five, six, seven. Seven fangs from Ali, say. Which means that victory goes to Ali say! How can I collect it five? <laughs> I did it! I bested Hackney! <laughs> In another god's damn life! You didn't even try, did you? Ali say. <sighs> and that really was taking it seriously. Spare me your, your pity next time, will you? I. I. I, 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 I <laughs> so, children, you've now seen the Warrior of Darkness in action. What are your impressions? She is the best. I love her so much. <laughs> She's incredible, miss. The bats were down before they even knew it. Our guards are strong, but the Warrior of Darkness is much, much stronger. We want to be just like her. <laughs> I didn't beat the wall. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> Good. If you're looking for an example to emulate, you may as well pick the best. I want you to remember how you felt when you watched Hakane and train hard. Keep at it for long enough and you'll be strong too. If you don't mind telling us, when did you decide that you wanted to become Warriors of Light? Well, we were there listening with everyone when Arbit appeared, but I've wanted to be strong since before I came to the Crystarium. The Sin Eaters killed my father and my sister, see? And I promised myself I'd learn how to protect people one day. Like Arbit said, this is our home. We're the ones who have to protect it. We're the ones who have to rise up as new warriors of light. What about you, Arkel? Me? Uh, to be honest, I'm, sure, I'm still not sure what I want to do. But if my friends were in trouble, I know that I'd want to help them. <laughs> and I want to go on an adventures with them. See the world together. That's a wonderful goal. You really think so? It's hard to explain, but it's something I felt when I saw the star shower the other day. I felt as though there was something I'd lost and that I had to go out there and find it. Well, for the both of you, there's nothing for it but to train. When we return to the city, I'll teach you some exercises you can do by yourselves. Thanks for showing us your fighting skills, Warrior of Darkness. We'll never forget it. Bye, kids. I 
understand how aggro feels. I'll kill Phil's even. The star shower didn't awaken me to Heidelin's voice, but that vision of the final days of Amarok burning. It filled me with sadness to the very pit of my being. Things I once knew, people I once loved, promises I once made. It felt as though long forgotten memories were dancing at the edges of my mind. But when I try to focus on them, they simply fade away. An effect of having a fractured soul, I shouldn't doubt. At least you worry, I'm perfectly happy to remain fractured and have no intention of donning an Asian mask. I just wish we knew what Elidibus was plotting. <laughs> but look at this pair of incurable brooders. If we're going to stand around lost in thought, we may as well do it back in the city. Rest assured, Reen and I will take the children from here. Their heads will be in the clouds after meeting you, but we'll see to it their feet remain firmly planted on the ground. I love her so- No! No! Don't. 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 Don't do that. Don't. Don't. Not fun. Not funny. Not good. Don't. It's nothing. Just a dizzy spell. Seems I tried a little too hard to beat you. I'm fine now, not to worry. I'll see you soon. Yeah, that's three people who have had dizzy spells recently. As you ponder Alice's words, you are taken by an urge to revisit the scene of that fateful meeting. Just a coincidence. We all have massive, uh, massive iron deficit. The anemia in the scions is out of control. I we, please, we need some vitamins. <laughs> please. No one is doing good. Everyone is dizzy, spelling everywhere. Um, this one. That anemia synced up, it happens. <laughs> You're all very pale. That's true. That's true. They need to hydrate. <laughs> we haven't had enough water recently. Come on, everyone. Please. Please. No one is looking after their health. It's it's a disaster. Maybe it's just scurvy. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe we just need to eat an orange. It'll fix all our problems. She was just winking in. <laughs> I was trying to flirt and then I got blasted into the past. Oh my god. Okay. On behalf of the convocation, I bid you welcome to our order. At times you will stand with us. At times you will stand against us. All that you might steer mankind and the very star upon their true course. So true. For yours is the seat of Elidibus, the emissary, 
and by this name shall your every action be guided. Thank you so much! Thank you, thank you, thank you for the raid! Welcome! Um, it's Georgia, thank you so much! Welcome! Um, oh, hello everyone, I'm Hannah, it's lovely to have you here. I hope you had a lovely stream. Tell us what you are up to. Um, I'm currently in some big fun Final Fantasy story and I'm scared and excited and terrified. Forgive my sins, thank you for the follow. Warcry, thank you for the follow. Welcome! Um, yours is the seat of Elidibus, the emissary, and by, thi by this name shall your every action be guided. So you peered into my memories. No matter. You will have found little of import. You're important to me, Elidibus. Yes, please, <laughs> please don't get spoiled or anything. Yes, definitely hardcore luck. Um, but thank you so much. That's really, really kind. Thank you so much. I hope you're enjoying Heaven's Ward. Um, it's beautiful. It's incredible. Thank you for the follows. Thank you so much. I'll be hiding. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, please look for the spoilers. Yes, yes, yes. But I see you intended to summon me here no more than I intended to come. The fault is mine. Such is the burden of hope. Give back Arbid's body. Give him back to me. His voice is so good. Um, I was going on about it early in stream and in the Discord and wherever I can talk about it. But um, oh my goodness, the I love the way he's been set up as like so manipulative and like being able to tell all of these half truths and keep on top of it all. And um, I think that's so fascinating to put all of that weight onto a character. But then they managed to get the perfect um the perfect voice actor to match that i think it's so good excuse me orange excuse me i beg your pardon um i want to just straight up be like what what are you what are you what's what are you what what are you, what, what are you plotting what's going on what are you plotting? Come now. My plans are no mystery. The way that they use Arbit's freaking model as well, it's so blah 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 blah. That which I do is no different from that which you have done so many times, Warrior of Darkness. I arm myself, I hone my skills, I make ready to vanquish my enemy, you. You who have murdered my brothers, who have taken their selfless labors in service to the one true world and turned them to ash. I see you for what you are. You are death. And only in death shall you serve any purpose. I gotta say, Elidibus' lines have been raw since he started chatting. He's just, he's, he's a, he's a, he's the emissary. The convocation charged me to steer mankind and the very star upon their true course. As Elidibus, it is my duty and I shall see it done. I will strike you down. Destroy, Destroy you, body and soul. All else must wait. Ere long, I will come for you, warrior of darkness. 
And I will save the world. One last matter. I bore witness to your final struggle with Emmet Selk. It seemed as if he saw something familiar in you. As if he mistook you for another. Hitlerdeus called me his new old friend. No. I recall not of whom he spoke. Mayhap I never knew you. Or mayhap it is another fragment lost. Ah, I wasn't aware you already had a guest. If the conversation is constructive, I shall not intrude. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> but if you seek to stir up trouble, Elidibus, then I must insist you leave at once. The tags of Lord Cowboy. <laughs> I shall not intrude. You are doing exactly that. <laughs> that is what you are doing. I was finally getting some juice from Elidibus. He was giving me details. <gasps> you fucking what? Don't do that. Don't. Not funny. Though you lack her blessing, your Don't. soul is surprisingly dense. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Don't do that. Don't. Too far. Worry not. I seem to be unharmed. Oh, uh, this. This is my own doing. The consequence of my recent exertions. It is the tower's way of compensating me for the demands I have placed on it. Rest assured, it is no great inconvenience at present. Indeed, I told Beck Lug as much, that they would not be persuaded and sent me away to rest. No need to make a fuss. Strange as it may sound, I consider it something of a badge of honor. I don't like this, actually. One of the brave souls who saw me delivered unto the first once said, that the world shall ever have a place for tales of heroism so long as we have need of inspiration in our lives. Though he and his fellows had no way of knowing whether their mad scheme would amount to anything, they knew that the attempt alone would inspire hope. Or so they hoped. <laughs> a more optimistic lot one would be hard pressed to find they said they would find a means to save our God's forsaken world just as soon as they had sent me on my way. Said it with such confidence that for a fleeting moment, I half believed them. Such faith such courage in the face of unrelenting despair. For a long time, it was more than I could bear to remember them. But having come this far, having sent full many on their way myself, I see things more clearly. To take action is to hope. To believe, to choose to believe, is to take the first step towards a brighter future. And why do I tell you this? Because I want you to indulge me in a little recklessness. I 
think you're being reckless enough every goddamn day, but sure, what do you want to do? Needless to say, I have a plan. And when all is said and done, I will ask yet another favor of you. You're both here. Oh, thank goodness. What's wrong? It's Thancred. No! He's collapsed. No! I knew it was going to be that, and I didn't want it to be. <laughs> no. No. He's just the anemia. He, he just give him some iron right now. Give him some Cheerios and a tablet. He'll be good, I promise. Please. I just, I don't. I don't know. Uh, he just needs a nap. He's a dad. He's tired. He's working so hard. <laughs> oh! It's just a full handful of iron. Just, just do it. Trust me. That was so good. What the frick? So much happened in that one cut scene. Um, a little bus. A little bus. A little bus. A little bus. A little bus, a little bus, a little bus. But it seems like he did recognize us. Even though he said he didn't. I don't know if he's telling the truth. But then he seemed really reflective about it. I don't know what he's got up his sleeves, apart from a different body, but his real sleeves, I... What is he? <sighs> the fates seem determined not allow not to allow us a quiet moment. Oh, also this this man is trouble. This man needs a nap. He actually needs a nap. Dad Kurt needs to stop napping. This boy needs a freaking ten hours sleep. But come, let us have the details from Rain. I really want a croissant. Thank you. Glow in the dog tattoos. He's working too hard. He needs to rest and nap. He's half crystal, he does not need sleep anymore. I think that is wrong. <laughs> I would like the Exarch to please have a little nap ASAP right now. Go to sleep right here. Good job. Okay. It happened after Alice and I saw the children back to Spagarex. We chanced to meet Thancred there, returning from his mission. He'd been showing a little bit around the realm. Uh, sh sh <laughs> Been shadowing a little bit. <laughs> you know, a little bit, so just out on a walk. Um, he's been shadowing a little bit around the realm, only to lose sight of him near the Crystarium. <laughs> and he was in the middle of telling us where he'd been when he just crumpled to the ground. Don't do this. The Chargans are looking after him now with Alfino standing by just in case his healing magics are needed. Since I couldn't do anything to help, I thought it best to find you, and the guard at the Exedra told me where to look. I see. It cannot have been easy leaving Sancred's side. My thanks for bearing word to us. Come, let us hurry. Thank you so much for the brand new sub! Thank you! Enjoy the emotes. Thank you so, 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 so much. Um, Demon Lord, thank you. Um, thank you. I'm very stressed. I'm very stressed. I don't want any, I don't. I really believed, like I had full faith that the Exarch 
Well, okay, my Exarch thought was that the Exarch would not come with us, but Graha would wake up. So, like, we'd still have him, kind of. That was what my th thoughts were. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, and then I thought Reen was definitely going to come with us to back to the source. But then they kept talking about in Eden of, like, Ah, uh, well, you know, at least she has someone here now. No, she's coming with us. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> no, she's coming with us. No. <laughs> Rain found you then. We had to send the children off earlier than planned, but they understood. I fear this boat's ill, and not just with Ancred. Shouldn't you be resting? It appears our friend has already awakened. For that at least, we can be thankful. They drugged you here too, did they? My apologies. How do you feel? Embarrassed, but otherwise well enough. I won't be staying overnight. This episode was not the result of any injury I could find. Anchorage's ether, however, did show signs of instability, and I did what I could to calm the fluctuations. Hmm. And all of this happened without warning? Not exactly. You will doubtless recall the time Ariange nearly drowned and I gallantly went to his rescue. <laughs> when his water walking charm failed, he was tired, as were you when you got back. We were both spent, yes on account of which she begged us to rest, which, in retrospect, may have been a good idea. The fact is, I've been experiencing regular bouts of lightheadedness ever since, but there was no actual fainting until now. As Alfino observed, I have no lingering injuries, and it most assuredly isn't old age which leaves but one likely cause. The link between body and soul has weakened further. Time grows short. We must complete the spirit vessel with all haste. To that end, Hakane, might I trouble you to make a trip to the source? In addition to looking in on our friend's bodies, I would have you consult Kryl about our plan. If she has any concerns, we should at least endeavour to address them prior to proceeding. Oh no! In the meantime, we should get back to laying bare Elidibus's plot. Sleep! Stop! Can these people stop working? I'm begging them. Thus far, I have learned this much, that in each of the places he has visited, there have been sight sightings of suspicious black-clad strangers. Moreover, the coming of these shady individuals has invariably coincided with some manner of misfortune. Beasts terrorizing settlements, blight ravaging crops, you know, that sort of thing. All of which serves, rather conveniently, to make Elidibus's call for new heroes reverberate that much more loudly in the hearts of his audience. And you think these black-clad strangers are Asians? I do, and I fully intend to investigate further. Though for that, I shall require additional feet on the ground. You can count on mine. God no, I've been itching to get out there for a while. Mayhap Urianje too can be prevailed upon to join in your efforts. He has already provided copious guidance on the matter of the spirit vessel's construction. It is for Beck Lug and I to wrestle with the rest. Well, if you can spare the old boy, <laughs> we may as well make use of him. I'll go and give him the good news. <laughs> The old boy? You'll do no such thing. However heedless you are of your own well-being, 
If you care at all for Reen's feelings, you'll stay in bed until you're needed. Alfino and I will find Arion Joe. All being well, we will have news to share by the time you return. Safe travels, Hakane. I know you cross the rift all the time, but please take care. Please, you misunderstand. I'm not averse to putting my feet up. It's being coddled like a brittle boned non agenarian the chase. There, there. Feel better soon. I'll be back. Don't faint. Don't pass out. Please don't do anything without me. Jesus, I beg of you, please. 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 He got a daughter in age 40 years. He did. Mm. An old man. No. <laughs> this poor man. He's trying his best. I can't believe Thancred is dying of gay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Tatteru! <laughs> How are you? I miss you every day. Actually, I saw her yesterday because I was doing Stormblood Trials, but I still miss you. I miss you all the time. <gasps> Hakane! What excellent, I mean, awful timing! <laughs> what? You see, our friends. They've taken a turn for the worse. Carl's hardly had a moment's rest these past few days. Okay, cool. Sick. She didn't want everyone to worry, so we've been keeping it quiet. Ah, uh, but listen to me. I call myself a receptionist and I haven't even bothered to ask you why you're here. Uh, to check on the bodies. <laughs> so... They think the spirit vessel will be ready soon, and they want to make sure there are no problems at this end. Hmm. You better talk to Kryle. She's with the others in Dawn's respite. Let's go and see her. Just prepare yourself, all right? <laughs> oh God, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, Rose, for the brand new sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome in. Enjoy all of the emotes. Um, I love getting ads every 30 minutes on channels I'm subbed to. One day I'll understand Twitch, and by one day, I mean when I'm long gone. Excuse us. This way. I would rather you hadn't seen this. I'm sorry. 
We have urgent tidings. Oh, no, no, I'm not angry with you. On the contrary, I know full well how hard everyone has been searching for a way to return home. And I had hoped to afford you the time you needed. But given our friend's present state, perhaps it was for the best that you came. Stiff and cold, all of them. As if they were made of wax. Barely alive at all. And they had been doing so well. Save for occasional signs of etheric instability, they appeared to be in passable health. Then, quite without warning, things took a turn for the worse. A change for which even Master Matoya could offer no explanation. She could only remind me that the soul is yet an unknown frontier, and that much and more lies beyond our ken. But let's not lose heart just yet. At times like these, it is all the more important that we remain positive. Why? I but this moment succeeded in quelling a fluctuation in Thancred's ether. And while the others have weakened, they have remained relatively stable. I believe I may leave my post for a moment. So come, let me hear your tale outside. <laughs> oh. mm. <laughs> I don't like it. They're sleepy. <laughs> They're very sleepy. Um, thank you so much. Uh, thank you for the brand new sub as well. Thank you so much. That is really, really, really kind. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the emotes. Thank you so much for the support. Um, I appreciate it so freaking much. Thank you. Yes, I did, um, I did record, I've recorded everything I've not streamed, um, of Shadowbringers. So 5.1 is, is recorded. There are some screenshots in the Discord if you're curious, um, in the Final Fantasy bit. Um, but, uh, I did, I did, I did, I did get very excited over the Estinian. Yes. <laughs> As you probably noticed, we've put them in night clothes. I know they're not exactly asleep, but it seemed like the right thing to do. I've made them some new clothes when they wake up, so they have to come back, uh, and they will. <laughs> oh. Oh. He's from the first. I see. Work on the spirit vessel proceeds apace, but our friends begin to falter. As they themselves have observed, the link between body and soul has weakened. It's as simple as that. For now, I'm still able to quell the fluctuations in their ether, but it's only a matter of time. We'll lose them if we don't act soon. So if the Exarch is ready to attempt something, let him attempt it. As for the spirit vessel itself, if we seek to draw upon Alec and Wisdom, we could do worse than consult an expert in the field. And I think I know just the man. 
Pine being against us, it may be best if I go and solicit his aid in person, even if it does mean leaving my patients. You've come a long way, so do take your ease while you can. Thank you. Tatsuri has a favor to ask. Um, Hakane, could you spare a moment? Well, Kryl goes and finds this expert of hers, I mean. There's a gift I was hoping to send to our friends in the first, you see. And since we might be waiting a while, I wondered if you wouldn't mind giving me a hand with it. My first attempt turned out well, so now I'm going to make it properly. I'll be in the kitchen at the House of Splendors. Meet me there. Well, I'd better be off too. I shall see you soon, either here or at the house, depending on how our patients fare in my absence. They are such precious babies. I just, I just so adore. Oh. <laughs> It's a good thing the Exarch yoked Arianche and not Kryl. Imagine how long that scene would have been with him instead. We would have had beautiful, beautiful, um... Dialogue. I don't know what you mean. Sweet potatoes, they are little angels. Verily. Awesome. Awesome. Look at this A. Are you kidding? Look at her. Never mind. This game is good and it's it's fine and happy and it's great. <laughs> Stop. Stop. This is happy game full of happiness. <laughs> Can you do can I make you? It's fine. Look at her. She's so freaking cute. Are you kidding? Oh. Tatsuri's drip is insane! So true. There you are, Hackney. As I'm sure you've guessed, the gift is a bit of home cooking. Unlike Coral, I can't do much to help our friends directly. That doesn't mean I've been idle. No, I've been doing my best for the order, taking on this job and that to keep our coffers full. I've even helped out with the Ishgardian restoration. And in the course of all this, my culinary skills have come on quite a bit. So I thought, why not make something for our friends? It's baking in the oven even as we speak. Shouldn't be long now. I love her. I'm not a good fighter, so she loved up all her craft to gather her jobs for us. She just wants her friends to be happy and have a little bit of home. Oh. There, baked to perfection, even if I do say so myself. Mmm, yummy. What do you mean it's bread? Like, how is that disappointing? It smells great! Doesn't it just? It's called Archon Loaf, in case you're wondering, and it's what they eat over in Charlian. A simple fare, I admit, but I thought it would remind our friends of home. If nothing else, Kral tells me it's a good source of ether. So it should lend them a bit of strength at least. Mmm, mmm, that really is nothing like the smell of bread fresh from the oven. Kryl, and if it isn't Rambrose too. Yo, Rambrose! Nice to see you, pal. I trust you require no introductions either, Hackney. Greetings, my friend. Full glad am I to see you well. I confess, 
I have a mile long list of questions to ask you, but I will endeavour to contain my curiosity for the present. I understand our mutual friend is struggling with the application of certain elegant technologies. I have been helping Ramboros a uh, I've been keeping Rambrose apprised of events in the first. Suffice it to say, he knows about the Exarch. If anyone alive can provide insight into this matter, it is him and his fellow sons. <sighs> oh, am I to disappoint you after so glowing an endorsement? Memory transference was the sole province of Alagon royalty, its mechanisms closely guarded secrets. If any record of them remains, we have yet to find it. To wit, I regret that I can offer no solution to your problem. Which begs the question of why I bothered to come here empty-handed as I am. The answer being, rather brazenly, to ask a favour. I would have you relay a message to our comrade. Of course. Tell him. Tell him that we never doubted him. Never doubted that he would achieve all that he said he would. Those of us who remained behind have yet to play our part, but when the time comes, he may rest easy in the knowledge that we will most assuredly do so. And then the tower shall shine once more as a beacon of hope in this world and beyond. This feels like completely the wrong music for the scene, but you know what? We've got three OSTs we can play in cutscenes, and this is the only one that works. <laughs> so tell him that we consider his duty done, and that she, he should follow his heart now. Forgive me, but do you say this to discourage him from overexerting himself, or to encourage him to hold nothing back? That is for our friends to decide, but either way, I dare say a certain someone will be unimpressed. Well, there you have it, Hackney. If you would be so good as to see Rambrose's message and Tataru's bread to their intended recipients, along with my report, of course. Hi, Windy Journal. What's up? Um, Kyle, before I wrap the bread up, would you mind giving it a try? Just to make sure everything's as it should be. But of course, I'm always happy to lend my taste buds. I hope it's good. Hmm. Hmm. Excuse me, Rambrose, as a fellow Shalian, may I trouble you for your opinion? Well, I usually have mine with a good dollop of Rollenberry jam, but I suppose plain is best for sampling purposes. Oh no! Is it not good? I see, I see. Oh no, is it that bad? It is indeed Tatsuru. Tense and unpleasant, exactly as it should be. <laughs> Just so. The very taste of home. Ah. As you might expect, our countrymen have amassed a wealth of culinary wisdom from every corner of the world, but our native cuisine is, shall we say, a little lacking. In Shalian, the majority regard food as a source of nourishment rather than enjoyment. Save for those who actually research the culinary arts, we pay little heed to the niceties of taste and texture. What is wrong with your heart? <laughs> it, was against, uh, it was against such a gastronomic landscape that what is now called the Archon Loaf was born, the creation of an Archon who devoted himself to the study of bodily sustenance. In order to maximize its nutritional value, he incorporated copious quantities of pulverized fish and vegetable matter into the dough? <laughs> All with nary a care for those qualities which make bread enjoyable. The result is a flavour that continues to defy description. That's disgusting. Okay. Yet, yeah, for its many shortcomings, the lowest nutritional value cannot be denied. And being a damnably convenient way to cater to one's bodily needs, it quickly found an audience amongst busy scholars. Why, when I was a lad, nigh every meal was a sandwich made with this very bread and whatever ingredients happened to be on hand. Mm hmm I suspect just about every Archon can say the same. Having been away from home for so long, I thought I might have forgotten the taste, but no. It is all too familiar. Ah, how it takes me back. Well, I'm glad you two are having fun. <laughs> there is enough. Perhaps you can spare some for the Exarch. He is certain to appreciate it. 
Oh, there's plenty to go around. I'll be sure to wrap up an extra slice. They can have my serving. It's fine. Hakane, when you deliver the loaf, please be sure to send everyone my regards. Tell them we're doing everything we can and that we'll be praying for their safe return until the moment they get back. Babies. <laughs> Full of trash too. It's good for you. No. I will refuse to eat this food. No. Vegemite is good though. I do like Marmite, I will say. I am a fan of Marmite. Though I wouldn't say it's quite as gross as fish and bread. Personally. I will only eat chicken nuggies. Yes. My wool actually only eats rabbit pies, and that's it. That is why I have 720 rabbit pies. And a card I haven't- oh my sorry. Real gameplay. Oof. God. Enjoy your luck. Do you have business? I do. Yes. Ah, you are returned. Good, good. There is much to discuss. The others are making their way hither as we speak. The unexpanded inventory. It will never change. I don't want the big inventory. I don't like it. I like small inventory. Welcome back, my friend. How was your journey? Here's some bread. You'll love it. By the twelve? Archon loaf? However did you come by this? I swear it had come straight from Shalian. Rambo said that, did he? Uh, his words are very nearly as heavy as the bread, but I appreciate the sentiment. Should you have the chance, you may tell him that he needn't worry. That which I seek to do, I do with my own volition, and with all my heart. In pursuing this path, I fully expect to earn the cens censure of our friends, and to deserve it. But I shall forge on regardless. What, is what does that mean? I love defining words in Final Fantasy XIV. Express the disapproval. I expect to earn and the disapproval. Oh yeah. Great. For John, as you yourself did, one faced with a similar predic predicament. So I ask that you have faith in me, in what we do. What are you doing? But we were talking about your journey. Before the others arrive, I would hear how their bodies are. Fair. Oh, and the bread I shall save for later. Though it has been many years, I have not forgotten the feats of ma mastication required to consume it, nor how unconducive they are to conversation. Forgive the delay. We have visited every region and confirmed the presence of Asians throughout the realm. Cool! Lest a grave predicament be made to seem hopeless, it should be noted that they are of inferior rank. The black masked minions who answer to the red. Cool. Yes. A gaggle of schemers attempting to exploit recent events, to sow the seeds of petty conflict. Fortunately, nothing of any great concern has come of their meddling just yet. We also encountered a number of the Crystarium's former defenders, busily solving this problem and that in a bid to become warriors of light. Their zeal is to be applauded. It is but a pity I cannot encourage them on their course. Not knowing Elizabeth set them upon it, no. 
Both the troubles to be solved and the villains to be vanquished are his doing too, like as not. And so, with apologies to the aspiring warriors of light, I believe it best that we deal with the Asians quickly and quietly. I quite agree. But tell us, what news from the Source? How fare our bodies? Well enough. Though time is not on our side. I'm sorry, but things have taken a turn for the worse. Oh, I think the first one puts a more... It's a little more positive. Kind of. Indeed. Heartening though it is to know we can stay a while longer, returning home must remain our priority. He's so... Oh. This seems an appropriate moment to ask about the spirit vessel. Have you made any progress? We have, as it happens. One moment. Is that your blood? Then this doth mean. For the benefit of all, permit us to explain. As you will recall, using white aura sight as our starting point, we fashioned a vessel for mind and memory both. You know. Yet, <laughs> though it served this purpose admirably, the process of imbuing it with one's complete essence proved a somewhat thornier proposition. Simply put, the memory would not accompany the mind, and so we looked to the Allegan's mastery of memory transference for a solution. This approach was not without its own complications, however, relying as it does upon blood, which inanimate objects notably do not possess. No way. What? We duly explored methods of suffusing the vessel with drops of the aforementioned. Alas, our painstaking experimentation succeeded only in making me feel faint, and singularly failed to imbue the crystal with the necessary properties. It was then that an idea occurred to me, namely that we might fuse the vessel not with normal blood, but with my crystallized essence. What does that mean? You're doing this for our sakes. So far be it from us to complain. But don't think we haven't noticed what's happening to your arm. It falls well short of offering up my life in exchange for yours, which was your only stipulated prohibition, as I recall. And it is but a small price to pay for delivering you home. Assuming it works, <laughs> we shall soon know if this grisly addition will serve as a suitable conduit for the subject's memory. Although not soon enough to warrant your waiting, the test is like to take a while. Let us be off then. We have Asians to attend to, among other things. Forgive me, but I count six vessels, and there are only five of us. One is for testing purposes. I will personally use it to see whether the crystal functions as it should. And if it does, wouldn't that mean that your soul could also return to the source? Yes. In theory, at least. But there is a distinct difference between your circumstances and mine. While your corporeal forms want for souls, my past self does not. Mayhap our essences would blend, or mayhap they would curdle. There is no telling what might occur. Same, I don't know. No. <laughs> and you'd be willing to take that risk? I would. I see. 
I really hate when my soul doesn't settle correctly. Okay, I need to like reread or understand what is going on. Hello? <laughs> no, I don't want it. <laughs> no! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the fish bread. With mine crystallized essence. So is he saying he's put his his soul into this bowl? And by bowl I mean memory transference thing? What is he doing? He's put his memories, his life force, his ether. I couldn't do the same thing. I'm trying. No, 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 no. That that I understand. I get that he's like I could potentially also jump across, but like the blood crystal. He was like, it's not my blood, it's my crystallized essence. What is his crystallized essence? His blood. He literally said it's not his blood. Huh? Oh my god, a coffee biscuit? Oh, beautiful. I can give that to Rena and Gaia. Thank you so much. Thank you. Blood from his stone arm. Mac and cheese. A Google Drive. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, so his crystallized essence. Okay. So his crystallized essence is blood from the crystal however that works and not just normal blood because he says that we might fuse the vessel not with normal blood but with my crystallized essence crystallized essence is his blood crystallized it's the crystal the blood from his crystals because his crystals have blood graha explain graha use small words how does a crystal bleed? That's a question that I am just going to accept and not think about. Okay. Uh, <laughs> We're thinking too much about this. I mean, it's literally his life. <laughs> like, I, I don't think I'm thinking too much about it at all. Like, if he's putting his blood into it and it's harming him, then I think I should be aware. <laughs> I think that's the basics I should get, to be honest. Um, and then the soul, the crystal blood soul stuff would blend or cuddle. Who's to say? <sighs> cool. Forbidden rock candy. Mm-hmm. 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 Ali say, are you okay? Let's ask Yoshi P. Let me call him up. Yoshi P, I've got a question. This didn't make sense. She looks so grumpy, my little angel. Please do not give me the <laughs> the, the Xbox essence. I <laughs> thank you. Pop rocks, but it's crystal blood. 
please do not eat girl has crystallized blood it's not hygienic it's really bad <laughs> no, what the fuck? <laughs> there's a zombie in the back what's going on <laughs> Okay. Okay. When our grandfather first decided to journey to Eorzea, Ali Say did not take kindly to my silence on the subject. Don't pretend to understand things you don't, she said, or rather shouted. Having oft been the object of her scorn, I am predisposed to sympathise with the Exarch, but I do understand how she feels. Better now than I ever did, certainly. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know I was childish to storm. I know it was childish to storm off like that. And probably to feel the way I do as well. Ugh, pull yourself together, Ali Say. I love her so much. I just think she's the best. I just think she's so good. I love her. She just cares for everyone so much. She has the biggest heart. That's why she's the one that like spoke up about empathizing or sympathizing with Emmett. And she's just the one that is always like, oh, she has so many feelings. I love her so much. <laughs> I, for one, support the Xbox choice. To be alive is to be driven by a purpose, and few are dr as driven as him. It's stupid, but I've never really stopped to think about what would happen once the vessels were complete. And now... No, there's no point. I... I hope the test is a success. Truly. I hate it here. Hast thou a moment, Hakane? I would speak with thee on the matter of the Exarch's mooted return unto the source. Thou wilt have observed that our friend spake not in certainties. Spake? Spake? Spake, Oriange? Spake, you are, you, you've gone too far. You've gone too far. Spake, not in certainties. Yet if Barklug hath the right of it, it is possible to predict the outcome of his plan with some confidence. Spake. And it is their assessment that, given the opportunity, the Exarch's soul should successfully merge with that of his younger self. Thank you so much! I returned to Witness 5.3. Welcome to 5.3. It's... It was fun in games for a while there. And now it's not. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome back, Mikey. Um... Which is not to say the process is without complications. For once, the Exarch hath been subjected to an additional rejoining, an experience with which will have brought a change in his ethereal composition. As thou thyself didst demonstrate in merging with Ardbert, however, there existeth an affinity twixt like souls, and this doth give us cause to hope. Yet there remaineth one immutable condition upon which success doth hinge. The Exarch must needs recognize his past self is simply that, himself. As our recent travails have demonstrated, memories are essential to the soul. Any discrepancy in the former may feasibly cause the latter to spurn its former flesh. It is a seemingly simple yet complex problem. For nigh on a century, our friend hath striven only to deliver this realm, to deliver thee. And to that singular end did he cast aside his very name, that he might assume the mantle of the Crystal Exarch. Henceforth, none can say what choices our, friends will make, our friend will make. But I thought it only right that thou be made aware of these truths. Ah, he has to be all, all honest and, and, and share everything because he. he uh. Yes. Archaic. <laughs> Archaic. Least there be, lest there be any doubt, the Exarch hath long been aware of the possibilities, but he but recently unfolded to us. Wherefore, he did refrain from sharing them until now, I cannot say. It's stupid. Uh, Oh, 
Oh god, okay. <laughs> no, that's cool. I'm excited. Right then. Well, the Exarch literally pours his own sweat and blood into this a lot of time. Slow down! Slow down! Um, literally pours his own sweat and blood into his allotted task. It seems only fair that we attend to our own. Dealing with Elidibus and his minions. Just so. And there is one other matter. In light of your ah, deteriorating health, Ishtola should not be left alone at an either. Might I trouble you to visit her, Hakane? See that all is well? Yes, please. I want to go. I want to see the visions. I want to see them all. I would go myself, but I think she might be safer in the hands of one less prone to collapsing. Yes, let me go. I would like to go. Yes. My thanks. You may leave the Asians to us. Once they are out of the way, we will retire to Ulmor. And when Ishtola has finished plumbing the depths, I'd like the two of you to join us there. Okay. If you are bound for Nida, I suggest you go via Venmont Yards. Our friends there will be glad to provide a boat for you. Let us be on our way then. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. I have a delivery from the source, Kupo! Uh, I have a gift for you from Tataru. Tataru! From Tatari, you say? Whatever could it be? Archon Loth, thou sayest. Why, even to hear the name doth transport me to times long past. Bread from another world. May I try some? Mayest thou, child? Thou must! That said, though I personally disagree with the consensus, I do nonetheless, nonetheless advise thee to temper thine expectations. <laughs> Wiser words have never been uttered. Oh, rally darkened our dining table at home. I can attest that it was standard fare at the studio. Indeed, the slice was never far from our peers' hands. Alf, you know, you really are an unbearable snob sometimes, you know? <laughs> you tell him, you let him know. What I believe my colleagues are trying to say is that we appreciate the gesture. Tell Tataru we will do our best to return before she's forced to seek further supplementary employment. Right, let's really be off now. We can find a drink to wash down the bread on the way. Amazing, incredible. Oh, I love them so much. You... <laughs> Nothing is terrified. Oh God. Oh no, someone ate some bread. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. The bread's done it again. Killed another one. <laughs> Rest in peace. It was real. It was beautiful. <laughs> of course, Aaron J would be the one to actually like it, as he deserves. His yummy. Weird bread. Missing on the prime reaction to our couponing? Not today. Not couponing today. Orange is the dude who lived on nothing but ramen for six years of school. True. True words have never been spoken. Why is it raining everywhere? It's fine. The cutscenes will all have beautiful ASMR in the background. No Koopa? No Koopa. Ah, 
Oh, if it isn't the warrior of darkness herself, what brings you to these parts? I would like to get on a boat to see if Ishtola has passed out. <laughs> Heading out to sea, eh? But of course we'd be happy to help. Just say the word and I'll ready a boat. Ishtola is just passed out next to the, the machines. Oh my god! <laughs> I was kidding! Oh my god! Excellent. I had intended to speak with you alone. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh. Ah, I'm so sorry, Stola. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Little bus, why? Because <laughs> you. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, Stola. That was on me. Oh, I'm so sorry. God. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> What's up, Bussy? None of my doing, lest you misunderstand. The link between her body and soul wavers. His voice, just I just. I know not what you hoped to find here, but it will avail you naught to learn of our past. Reviewing the records yet again, really. You worry too much, a lot of us. This dedication to your duty verges on obsession. To think some thought you ill suited for the role, how wrong they were. But come. Okay. Turn your gaze outside the window, my friend. The rains have ceased, and we have been graced with another beautiful day. It fades. Fades away into oblivion. Does the world no longer have need of me? No, I am Elidipus, and I must, I will fulfill my duty. Sundered though you may be, you fought for the world's salvation, for hope. Hope. Dwells within me, empowers me. Now, now I may carry out my mission. And yet, why do I yearn for this? Why do I struggle so? I shall take her into my safekeeping. If you want her back, you will do as I ask. First my cat boy, now my cat girl. You Asians, I too stop. Show me your strength. I would take your measure. I have prepared a suitable arena. 
You need but ride the flow of ether. Okay. Cool. D this. <laughs> so I. Is this smart? No. Should the warrior fly do this? Probably not. No. You're next on the cat list? No! I'm <laughs> just a cat girl! Please! Pentacle. <laughs> I can't believe Elizabeth has got a whole stage set ready for us to go. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. You're a cruel man. You're a cruel man. <laughs> you are familiar with this place, I believe. This remembered Amarat. Proceed to the capital. I shall return your comrade to you there. I tired of your games. <laughs> you speak as if you were disappointed in me. Why? I am your enemy and you mine. Our goals are in conflict and we are fated to clash. Or had you hoped that feigned sympathy and false understanding would cast your crimes in a less reprehensible light, that I would come to look upon you as a friend? You who have slaughtered my people, who would tear down everything we have built. You do not deny it then. Very well, let us change the cast of this trial. You will know what you have stolen from us. I do not imagine I crave remorse, only justice. We shall see how strong you have become. Oh, oh God. Why is thank you so much for the 20 months? Thank you. Yes, I love the Yakuza and the 14s. Wow. The music is so good. Rest assured, there are no tricks. You need but defeat the enemies before you. First, something easy. Those whom a budding hero might encounter at the beginning of her tale. And I believe I have the perfect subjects. Oh 
my god! No, oh the chills I have all over my body, oh my god. All too easy, I see. But at least you now understand the rules. That's all we make our way to the capital. Are you trying to unnerve me? Come now. I made it plain that they were monsters. Be that as it may, even a monster could be someone's beloved. That is what I wish to impress upon you. But come. We shouldn't dwell on the beginning when so much of your story awaits. Every tale requires villains. Defeat them and claim your place as a hero. Well done, champion of Eorzea, well done. Onward then, over the bloodied bodies of the fallen. Ah! Uh, I mean, this is, um... Horrible, but incredible. And it's exactly the kind of themes that I really wanted them to explore after Amarok and with the reveal of Idolin. Um like ah, I don't know, it's just very cool. You tasted many triumphs, yes, but so too did you taste tragedy. Who could forget the crystal braves, the that idealistic, pathetic dream born from a malformed creature? Faces you know and loathe all. Let your hatred burn and strike them down with all your might. serious it's very serious <laughs> i literally almost said i wanted to say sloppy <laughs> Ooh, with such ease yet again you did always grow stronger with every battle It seems it will take more than those monsters to leave an impression upon you. Or mayhap you simply fail to understand my meaning. Not that it matters. No, I have dealt with countless heroes, and always it ends the same way. No amount of reasoning will bridge our differences, or result in happiness for all. Whatever your reasons may be, reasons may be, I cannot be bound by them. I can but put faith in my own beliefs and fight for them with all my being. <sighs> oh, 
I mean, I want to say the first one, but I don't know if we really can compromise on what they want. How very naive. If you are willing to compromise on your beliefs, you all but admit that they are flawed. And I assure you, I have no intention of compromising on mine. Come what may, I will fulfill my mission as Elidipus. But enough talk. It is not your assertions that I wish to know, but your strength. Falsely accused of regicide, you fled the snow for the no the snow swept fields of Corpus. Had you and the Scions met your demise that day in the Sultanate, La Habrea might have been spared his. But not only did you stubbornly live, you hurled yourself into the thick of the Dragon Song War. Stepped along by the tide of events, you pursued and slew those who sought to stop the unending conflict, just as you were bid. Or was it a thirst for vengeance that drove you? Trust you are beginning to limber up. Do keep up the fine form. Okay, you. Babies! <laughs> I miss them. Thank you so much, Soda. Thank you. Around heroes, people are wont to flock. People who harbor all manner of motives, each baser than the last. Come, let the curtains rise on the ground. <laughs> no! Deserved. In the end, their hand of friendship was tainted with personal desire. next he put an end to the dragon song wall there is no saving your comrade this time all you can do is cut off the serpent's head
you so much! Welcome back. Thank you so much, Mew, for the two month reset. Thank you. And as simple as that, a thousand year war is brought to its conclusion. But every end marks a new beginning. Then for heroes such as you, there is only ever conflict. How are you enjoying the walk down memory lane? I dare say. There will have been a few individuals for whom you harbour deep feelings, whose passing caused you keenest grief. That is what our people are to us, an irreplaceable existence that can ill be lost. I must, I will save them, for they are my, my. Never mind. We are not here to talk. Let us return to the task at hand. Empress Solas has kindled an insatiable flame. Gullmold was its path, was its name, and it raged across the land, consuming all in its path. Following the trail of ash, you set forth for Alamigo and Doma into a storm of blood. Again you fought, and again you grew stronger. So strong that we could no longer control you. Yours is an unnatural, beastly strength, and we shall lay it bare. In order to gain a foothold in the liberation effort, you journey to far eastern plains. There you encountered the land's greatest warriors and sought to win them over to your cause. Fine. The strong are drawn to the strong, thus did you gather new allies to your banner. Yet where ardent souls gather, so too do fires burn. In this way you did consign those around you to the flames, burn them all, hero. Reduce them to nothingness, like the ephemeral, ephir, ephemeral morning dew they are. Jesus Christ. What have I done? You did not hesitate, or perhaps could not, no matter, let us turn attention to the finale. Here we shall have a test between fellow beasts. It is only fitting, would you not agree? When I fought you in this flesh, twas I who triumphed. Will you turn the tables this time? <laughs> ok. 
My creation appears to have lost its form. It is no easy thing to see through the eyes of a beast such as him. Hmm. In any event, there is only so much to be learned by taking your measure this way. Let us try something different. Come, we continue this within. Solo duty was really about Sock and just showing off his whole portfolio. <laughs> As he should. An impressive show of strength. But surely no more than a foretaste of that which Emmett Salk's conqueror is capable. Such might requires a fairer measure, to compare like with like, yes. I shall just have to test you myself. Come on, Hakane, show me what you can do. <laughs> I don't want to, no! 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 <laughs> Not my art, but. Not Lamet's art, but. Not Lamet's art, but. How dare he? I may not be the real art, but you do all to all you do well not to underestimate me. I mean like you mean to take my head. but you have a lot of health. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot how to play freaking Reaper. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Oh god, it's fine. It's fine. It's it's okay. It's fine. You'd kill me given the chance. May help you think to recover this body. I sense your murderous intent. If so, prove that it's no use to me. Prove that I can't vest you with it. Come, come at me with everything you've got. God, okay. Chill. Chill, 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 chill. My guy, chill. Too much, too much. Oh, 
I see. Okay. Fair enough. I wonder how these instances go for non tanks. People are uh, here with full health. <laughs> and it's not a real experience coming in hot. What <laughs> from reading chat? It's probably not the move I should make. Oh god. Oh god. You're a different beast from when you faced my creation. Very well, I will transcend my very limits. We, we will see what you are truly capable of. Sick, love to hear it. Hold nothing back, neither will I. Time. That seems the most important thing. Is the only time that matters. 
Oh, sorry, you came you my wrist. You have grown stronger since last we fought. The result of your trials in the first, no doubt. Have you finished? My apologies. I freed myself as soon as I awoke, but rather too late, I see. Now, Elidibus, if you have ceased trading blows, I would trade words with you. I have a theory, you see. One concerning that which you seek to accomplish. It stems from who, or rather what, you truly are. A primal. The ancients created Zodiac to deliver the star from destruction. If the magic that brought him forth is the precursor of what we know as summoning, then Zodiac would have been instilled with a presiding desire. I found it among the records at Anida, and it came as no surprise. Were I faced with the world's destruction, I too would wish for the same. Salvation. I know that you sacrificed yourself to become Zodiac's heart. How you came to be separated from him is less clear. But if you are a fragment of his being, it stands to reason a desire for the world's salvation would drive you. And thus did you seek to inspire the masses to rise up as warriors of light, going so far as to use Ardbert as a symbol of hope. Correct on all counts. Such is my nature, and such are my methods. I have aided heroes. I have made them. I have even become them. This served not only to strengthen me, but also to facilitate the work of my brothers, such as Emmet Selk, with his penchant for nation building. Then you will be all too familiar with the fickleness of mankind. We change, we forget, and what little we do remember becomes twisted and fragmented over time. For which reason, you deem us unfit to carry on your legacy. But are you, yourself, free of these foibles? As the last witness of the final days, do you remember everything that was lost? Or even the things you cared about? Get to the point. A primal is shaped by the hope that fuels it. Even should this hope be something as simple as the world's salvation, it is the collective desire of innumerable disparate souls crying out for deliverance. Having drawn your strength from such a cacophony of voices, can you truly be sure you still speak with your own? <laughs> your question is irrelevant. No matter how much I should change, no matter how much I should forget, I shall ever remember my duty. At times, I stand with my brethren. At times, I stand against them. All that I might steer mankind and the very star upon their true course.
For Elidibus is my name and my mission, guiding my every deed. But enough talk. You have shown me sufficient proof of your might. As I am now, I would struggle to defeat you. Yet I have still to play all of my cards. <coughs> oh. If I could offer you some semblance of sport, your lessers would pose no threat to me. Would you not agree, warrior of darkness? supposed to mean it felt like a very thinly failed threat <laughs> to me <move> lives <laughs> lives that i love um that was cool that was so cool holy moly that was very cool you know what would be so interesting i just thought of it when he said um elidibus is my name because obviously elidibus and emmet sulk and whatever are titles um so there has been elidibus's before him and if with the the what Ishtolo is saying with like the massive um people's hope it would be really really cool if he couldn't remember his actual name um like he has lost who he is he is only the title and the duty of the title um because like Emmett was very much remembered his own name and was like, I'm not telling you it. Nim, 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 nim. Um, until the very end when he was uh, falling off the deep end a little. Um, so I'm like, damn, what if a little bit like literally just doesn't know who he is? That would be cool. A little bit A little bit <laughs> Elidopods. Yeah. The Elidopods. Hey, Stola. You good? It has been an eventful morning, if indeed it is morning. I have no idea how long I was unconscious. Regardless, I am gratified to see that my efforts at Anida have borne fruit. We have confirmed the nature of our foe and his plot. Now then, what news from the surface? Nothing good. I see. Then let us make for all more at once. We have much to share with our comrades, Elidibus's parting threat, not least of all. Ah, but forgive me. It would seem my belongings did not accompany me here. I will need to retrieve them from an either. With luck, the ethereal stream you traverse still lingers. I won't be long. Okay. Bye! Chat came together for the very important task of naming the Elidibusi, Elidipods, Elidibi. A little bit of bee. Did someone forget their soul crystal thingy? Magic? Whatever it's called? Job crystal? Soul? Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> yeah oh my god a snack and we it is oh fish <laughs> it is it is hungry work going through the memories of your life and killing those that you love and such <laughs> more crunchy mahjong pieces A peculiar crystal lies on the floor. 
upon its surface an array of lights twinkle like a tiny constellation of stars. Day fourth, bring honour to the seat of The distorted voice of an ancient rings out in your mind. A moment preserved in the crystal, it would seem. You notice something else glinting up ahead. <laughs> Is that it? Come on, Shuba. We gotta figure this out. There are crystals talking to me. Ooh! A few crystals. You find three more crystals lying on the floor, though they differ in colour and decoration, each is identical in shape. You focus on the crystals and find that the words they hold ring clearer than before. Behold, my friends. Embraced by the earth and caressed by the wind, vibrant life flourishes. All is right in creation. There can be no greater joy than to use our wisdom for the good of our people. No greater pride. May all know happiness now and forevermore. My, my crystals now. Any more? There do not appear to be any more crystals in the hall. Perhaps it would be wise to continue the search outside. Did you just call the Shubal Shuba as in Hubert? No, I just called him Shubal. He can be called Schubert though, I'm fine with that. He is very angry at me at all times. Oh, who's leaving all these gummies out and about? And have we never read any stories of... of, of this nature in which you are not meant to follow the candy? Oh, this is my Schubert. He can be Schubert though. Schubert is always pissy. He is, look! This minion, it just hates, like, it, it's a, it, it, look. All of the minions are like, so eager to be next to you at all times. This shoe bill, no. Hates me, <laughs> hates me, but I love him. Thank you for the follow, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Schubert. Schubert's are a menace. <laughs> Your instincts serve you true and you discover another two crystals. As you reach out with uh, your consciousness, new voices begin to echo in your mind. The heavens are ablaze and the land rent asunder. What will become of the world? Is life itself to be denied? Come what may, we may not surrender to despair. We must not surrender to despair. If we but hold fast to hope, we may yet find a path to salvation. More for me. I love that I am just taking these, are just mine now. <laughs> mine. The voices tell an incomplete tale. Might more remain to be found? What gummy? Nom, 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 nom. Shuba, there's more! Woohee! Well. You soon discover... How many crystals have we had? One. Three. Two. two eight. At least one. Uh, 
Um, you soon discover two more crystals. Rather too soon, in fact, as if someone wanted you to find them. Suspicious. Everything burns, crumbles, decays. I hear the lamentations of my brethren. And soon, there will only be silence. We will deliver our star from its doom, this we swear. So please, dry your tears. Whatever awaits at the end of your search, it is plain you have yet to find it. We're gonna have to add Shuba to the list of other birds, odd but from a bird, probably more. <laughs> Come on, Shubert! We got to go on an adventure! Wee -hee -hee. Another three, okay. One, two, no, one, three, two, two, three. So maybe three more? Trying to theorize. Um, sure enough, your persistence is swiftly rewarded, this time with three crystals. The time has come. We shall rewrite the laws of creation. And we shall save our star. From this life, our savior born, may I be worthy of the honor. I feel my soul turning, slowly but irrevocably and the power I wield begins to seem terrible. But this is right. It is right. Hmm. The tale the crystals weave seems to near its end, but it isn't over yet. Melancholy inevitability, the twelfth crystal soon reveals itself to your questing eye. Though salvation is ours, it came at great sacrifice. All that remains is to pray. To pray that we will one day meet again beneath a blue sky. Judging by its testimony, it would seem that the voice was recorded in the wake of the final days. As you scan the area, another glint catches your eye. Come on. Come on, Schubert. We must quest for more crystals. Gone is the brilliant radiance of life, replaced by the sickly glow of malformed creatures. Is this to be how it ends, for we who loved the star with all our being? No. I will not suffer it to be so. Again, my new old friend. Yo! Uh, the dumb receptionist of Pelotaeus. Hello? How good of you to remember. collecting stars. I speak of those crystals, 
They have constellations etched upon them, yes. High in the heavens, those stars shine their guiding light down upon the lives below. Fitting symbols for the Convocation of Fourteen, would you not agree? As you will have gathered, each crystal bears an account of the life of a member of the Convocation as remembered by the Unsundered. Least you worry, they aren't concepts. They are far too incomplete to be so. But they suffice for imbuing memories within sundered souls that they might be restored to their office. Wait. They aren't concepts. They are far too incomplete to be so. But they suffice for imbuing memories within sundered souls. Would want that they might be restored to their office. It sounds... Hmm. Keep them. I'm sure Emmett Sell couldn't mind. So how fair you of late? You were feuding with Elidibus this time, I believe. Hmm. I shall refrain from passing comment on your struggle. It is not my place to do so. Long departed as I am. Damn, that's so scary. Of, um... Because I don't know if this place will, like, fade away? Because Emmett's not around? But this, like, Hitler Day is having this level of consciousness is so is scary. Because they're just stuck here. Yeah. That's, uh, that's very terrifying. Um, it is not my place to do so, long departed as I am. But if I may give voice to a personal desire, I would rather you live. If you do not, how will you keep your promise to Emmett Selk? The promise to remember? It must weigh heavy, the burden of all those memories. To one who has lived a life such as yours, I can well imagine how Elidibus's existence might seem hollow, how empty his single-minded pursuit of a half-forgotten cause must appear. But know that his devotion is not without reason, even if he himself can no longer remember what that reason is. <laughs> well, that is quite enough talk about Elidibus. I would see if you can reunite the wayward stars.
I mentioned before that there was a member of the Convocation who opposed Zodiac's summoning and defected, one whose office was left vacant. Defectors having been deemed unworthy of commemoration, no crystal exists for the individual in question. Or shouldn't exist at any rate, and wouldn't, had a friend not created one in secret. A crystal bearing the forgotten name of her office, along with a magic of her own conceiving, a singular incantation embodying her spirit. Among all the officers, the 14th was most unusual. While the rest sat in Amarot, its holder was charged with gaining an intimate knowledge of the wider world. In the course of her duty, she travelled the length and breadth of every land and befriended countless folk. She encountered troubles too, of course, matters with wit which she could not simply have referred to the convocation, but that was not her way. Nay, more often than not, she would call upon her comrades and together resolve matters themselves. Such is the magic sealed within that crystal, the magic to summon the stars to your side. In time of greatest need, should you wish upon it with all your heart, it will surely answer your call. And now it is where it belongs. Oh, there is no need for thanks, but nor will I hear any complaints about it either. After all, I cannot say whether I act of my own volition or by the will of my recreator. I was wondering where you'd disappeared to. Jesus. <laughs> <Scared me. laughs> um, uh, thank you so much, Georgie, for the hundred bits. I agree. I agree. Hithlodeus. <laughs> thank you for the follows. Thank you. I don't know how okay so like my favorite characters are like i have like a number one a number two favorite character and then from three to like 20 it's like 50 million characters just all in that and i know what you're saying that there's only 18 spots between three and, and 20 no it's all of them i uh, Hithlodeus is in there, and I don't know, like, they, they've barely been in the game, but I just want more all the time. <laughs> I just want, I want, I want to have my weird little chats with them that just fill my brain with theories, and I'm, and I descend, and, and, <laughs> and that's it. That's all I want. 
That's all I want! It hovers over the list in spirit. Yes. <laughs> they are beautiful. Ah. I was just getting gummies. Is something troubling you? The gummies. No? Very well. I have everything. Let's hurry back to the surface. If we have to. Come back and speak plain. Fresh air, at long last. I would celebrate my return to dry land with a pot of tea, had we the luxury of time. But we must be prepared for Anunibus. Given what we know, it is plain he will not be deterred from his course. And nor would I worry him. Not if it meant forsaking everything I loved. That said, I have not forgotten how Emmett Selk sought to find common ground with us for all our misgivings. Ultimately, our differences were not to be bridged, of course, but one must always try. Emmett Selk understood this, and if his gesture resonated with you, perhaps you might consider reaching out to his brethren. Though it may all be for naught, and you of all people know that there is no such thing as a foregone conclusion. Yeah, no, Emmett resonated with me a little, it just a, the like tiniest amount. It's not like I ship him and my wall forever and ever and I my phone background isn't him no it's it's someone else it's I don't know I, no no it's fine it's fine right no more musing we have taken far too long as it is our friends await us in all more yes let us hurry and join them Super fine, super normal, we believe you, yep, 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 yep. Are you far into it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know how long 5.3 is. Uh, I've been streaming for almost four hours. Uh, so take that how you will, but uh, I, you can look up the, the quest name, I guess. I know not nothing. I know zero. Thank you so much for the follow. Thank you for the hydrate. I'm gonna play until you finish it. I believe that's the plan, but obviously I don't know how long it is. So Jesus, this music. Um, so you know that could not. Ha oh my God, some pipe points. Hello everyone. I love you all. How are you doing? You certainly took your time. Did something happen? I don't worry about it. And so the rumors have reached this far. Welcome to All More. Here's the music right now. Ah, uh, there you are. Eventful truth. Sorry, man. Okay. We were starting to worry, but I see we shouldn't have. No? It is my pleasure to report that we accomplished our task without a further bouts of faintness. A feat we attribute to Tataru's most generous gift. Of course. Of course. <laughs> oh, if it isn't Hakane, I confess I'm not entirely sure what's going on, but with you and your friends here, I'm sure it will be all right in the end. Yes. Yes, people have been talking about little else of late. We have been a prize of the situation, suffice it to say. We can ill afford to lose able-bodied citizens during this vital period of rebuilding. It appears we are fashionably late. Come, our tale will not wait. Hmm. 
Mm, yes. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. Forgive us our lateness. Master Chai, my congratulations on your appointment. By all accounts, you are a capable mayor. Oh, I have capable friends, my lady. I must say, it's good to see you looking hale and whole again. The credit for that lies with my own capable friend, without whom I might never have escaped my abductor. <laughs> Don't worry about it, it's fine. Uh, it's all settled. It's, it's, uh, that was a very vague threat in there. Don't worry about it. It's, it's all good. It's all good. A primal? I suppose that would explain why Elizabeth has been fostering faith in the Warrior of Light. While you were enjoying your audience with the Wandering Heart of Zodiac, we were busy dispatching the last of the Black Master Asians, a task which proved almost insultingly easy. Formidable though we undoubtedly are, they were obviously sent to provide encouragement for budding heroes. One cannot help but wonder how many times the ploy has been used before. Master Chai, you mentioned that the people of Calusia are similarly enamored of the Warrior of Light. Indeed. Though it's hardly surprising, given the state of the world, many are still struggling to find a purpose, and it's only natural that they should take comfort in the tales. Then the fever has spread to every corner of Norvrant. We may have dealt with his black-masked minions, but it is plain Elidibus has yet to show his hand. Oh my! What a spectacular sky! Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, it is very pretty though. I'll Another give I'll star give shower. Wait. Did you hear that? That voice calling out? No, I didn't hear anything, but... Why do I feel so... Like I've lost something dear to me? Does Elidibus seek to awaken more people to the Echo with clearer visions of the final days? Not of flesh and blood. I know this magic. The rings are like unto those that the exiles. That's exactly what I thought. Summoning. Yes. Yes. 
Yes. Are you saying the Exarch is summoning them? Oh, well, I doubt that. Nay, yet the similarity can be no mere coincidence. turns around us. More of them will appear ere long. To stay would only place innocence in harm's way. We must fight this battle elsewhere. Wait! Take one of our airships. You can decide what to do on your flight to the Crystarium. You are a capable leader in your own right, Master Chai. The no. citizens of Yulmore chose well. Cute! Nice. It's settled then. To the airship. Flying? Oh god. <laughs> oh no. I'll just teleport that. Don't worry about it. Exarch Villainer, let's go. Exarch is actually the the big fuck. <laughs> oh, the big fuck. <laughs> He's actually the big fuck. Don't you know? Uh, I need the bathroom, <laughs> so, uh, oh, hello everyone, I'm gonna go do that. <laughs> the big fuck, more hot Final Fantasy XIV takes after I go to the bathroom. Uh, boom, BRB. Did you know that Exarch is the big fuck? What? <laughs> no. I didn't know that. A cold one? I'm cracking open a cold one with the, the big fucks. My headphones are weird. What's going on? Hello? Hello, 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 hello. Why is everything quiet? What's going on? Well, this is weird. I thought this was a no spoilers channel. Hey, Hannah, it's me. Crystal, big fuck Exarch. 
I'm just cracking open a Pepsi Max. It's gaming time, fellas. Just me, Crystal Exoc, the big fuck, <laughs> the Pepsi Max. I just, I. <laughs> Lots, 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 lots. Do my headphones have fucked up in the like, oh my hearing's gone, something's happened. It's fine. Um, is this a, is it a... <laughs> Okay, cool. I was, is this, uh... Ah, uh... Is this one of the ones that has like good dialogues with characters? Like, should I do this as a trust? What, what's the effect? This is very cute, by the way. Thank you so much. I feel very honored right now. <laughs> um, thank you so much, Better Bud, for the 22 months. Thank you so much. Two sub anniversaries in one street. Look at us go. Um, and thank you for the 150 streak. I don't think anything crazy. Okay, cool then. Um, that sounds good to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I don't remember for this dungeon, so probably fine. Sick. Cool. Thank you. Um. I will keep everyone alive, as we saw in the Eden, 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 <laughs> Eden raids. Literally no one has ever died under my capable healing hands. I know what Aziz does. It's the best spell in the game. Um, true, very true, yep. Did you check the weather? I did not, should I check the weather? It's starry, with a, with a chance of meeples. Um, is there a sky watcher somewhere? Oh, probably outside, <laughs> where the sky is. Oh boy, it's so, we're gaming today. <laughs> Thing on your mini map? What? Oh, this. Ah, star shower. Ew, I thought you meant to talk to an actual sky thingy person. Just a cute little star shower. Nothing dangerous. All good. Um. When you saw Shadowbringers, it says a ton of light. Oh, I see, I see. That's cool. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Cool. Sick. I love seeing scary things in my video. I've realized what their problem was. I didn't fully like unmute my mic. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Damn it. Hang on to something. Thank you to such a bad driver. <laughs> Oh no, someone's falling! Oh no! Um... Okay. Um, no deaths, by the way. No deaths. There will be zero deaths. I hope everyone's ready. I am the death. The little bit was right. I am death.
No death. <laughs> None of that. Stop. Please. Thank you. <sighs> no one's ever died in a Final Fantasy XIV stream, actually. This is a no death run. True! I've never seen it happen myself. Not even once. Adachi agrees. Adachi agrees. And you should always trust Adachi. Always. Always. Who is talking? Oh! Cute. Does that look like a man who would lie to you, right? You wouldn't dream about. Never in my life seen talent such as this. Look at that stomp! Whoa! 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 Oh my god. I'm taking these these lads into savage with me. Oh. I do hope that this one is um less like the the one that you do I forget what the dungeon is called but the last dungeon before this one where you're like on Bismarck the bosses were pretty damn tricky I'm not gonna lie they were they were kind of hot. Here. I love Frey. And Anamnesis and I. That was it. Thank you. It does. Um, I managed, like, uh, there were some people who were, like, on the same quest line. Um, 
And we partied up. And one of their... Hold on. <laughs> no deaths, no deaths, no deaths, actually. You didn't see it. It wasn't real. Um, one of their fiancés was literally, like, helping us. <laughs> like, the fiancé was watching them play it. Okay. Bro. Never mind. Story's gonna have to wait. There is no story here anymore. That's all good. Um, <laughs> mm. um, 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 Ooh. uh, the fiance was like giving them tip, give, like giving, like typing tips in chat for us to do the boss. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh my god. I didn't see a single death. There is no recorded footage of any deaths. Zero. Zilch. So cute! Whee. Wow! Beautiful! <gasps> oh! 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 The trees we fought in the 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 with the no in that trial. Oh, I love how like much it's um been like in five point two, maybe one as well. Um, and this and maybe even all the post patches. It's like they've really been going in on like the idea of like stories being told and shared and remembered and all of that jazz and how with a lid of us as one we're going through all the the memories um that way and then in this trial it's all the people we've met more recently and how their fresh memories of us are uh, meaning that they aid us i guess oh it's cool Yeah, 
sure he's at the gold soul store now. <laughs> he's having a good time. <laughs> oh god. God. Um. Um, yeah, for sure. Oh, wait, that's a zombie. Oh god, two zombies! Oh, jeez. No deaths. I've never seen a death in my life. the death. I only know karaoke. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so sorry to the one I don't know. I'll know you one day. I promise. I know the others. <laughs> one day we will be besties as well. I promise. I love Granson. Out the best character in the game, you are so right and correct, and yes. I'm so happy I got to have Geot as like the um, the one that came to my room and we chatted about Lamets Arbor. How dare he take Lamets Arbor! Just enjoying the vibes, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah.
my shield. Ooh. Oh, look at that! Oh. You'll just destroy that man. Ash is half right. As she should. Damn. No, no deaths, no deaths. Oh, it's all good, it's all good, it's all good. In the hole? In the hole! In the hole! Oh, God! What does it all mean? Oh, God! Everything, everything, all of it at once. Everything, everything, all of it, everything. Just keep, keep going. Keep pushing. Oh my god, this. Another hole. Oh god, I'm in the hole. Oh Jesus. Okay. In the hole. 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 A bit bizarre. A bit bizarre. Should I have that? Getting a taste of violence. We'll go truly berserk. I, I've gone berserk. This is gaming. No death run is going pretty well so far. It was not going well. I. What has gone wrong? Okay. Tell me. You can't. I see four alive people <laughs> with with only hope in their hearts. 
This is all going according to plan by my estimation. Thank you, exactly. Thank you. Look, and if we hadn't died, I would have never found this treasure coffer. So, but we didn't die. When I when I said when okay when I said well what I meant when I when I when I. <laughs> Thank you so much for the 100 biddies. Can the person who owns the FC be kicked out asking for a friend? No. The people who want to kick the FC owner out can be kicked. <laughs> Thank you so much for the 100 bits. Thank you. When you die, I've never died. What do you mean? When I what? <laughs> do what? <laughs> Tell him how can I? Yeah. FC owner is a dictator. Yes, as they deserve. <laughs> as they should be. I am a. with my rocks. I think that's my my true calling. Okay. And then you don't want to get into the hold too early. You want to climb it. Fine, everyone's alive. <laughs> okay. S second hole, second hole, second hole. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, we wait, we wait, we wait, we fall. Okay. Amazing. Gaming. Oh, someone- okay. No one did anything. No one? No one. Okay, we're doing the, the good trusty method of panicking and just pressing every single button and that's fine. It's fine. Oh, it's not. <laughs> <clears throat> what we call gaming. No, I'm sad again. I'm not celebrating wins again. Oh, God. Oh, everyone. 
No deaths first round. What can I say? Dun, 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 dun. That proved quite a detour, but all's well that end well. Are we anger? You don't got words? You already- you have so many words. Come on, yeah. There can indeed- there can be no doubt, it is indeed the excellence magic. Sick. First try! Oh. Ooh. Oh. <gasps> that is so cool. I don't, I don't go here, but that is so cool. What is my, oh, I don't think I have a glamour bike thingy. Cause I like the, the normal one. Thank you for the follow. Oh, it is very Kingdom Hearts. Now you say that. Oh my God. Yeah. Holy moly. I think that's the last of them. Apparently even they have limits. Nevertheless, we should remain vigilant. Uriangé, something occurred to me while we were fighting. These enemies. Our heroes hailing from other shards. Summoned hither to deliver this world from its doom. Scant moments after the star shower did they appear, as yet more souls were inspired to walk the hero's path, no doubt. Thus did hopes for salvation of realms near and far resonate and converge, lending still greater strength unto our adversary. So that's Elidibus's game. But first things first. If the rings are the same as the Exarchs, then we need to ask him how that's possible. The Crystarium is close. Let us press on. They come. So near and yet so far. In the chaos of conflict, one can always find an opening to exploit. <laughs> Whoever taught you that is a wise man indeed, and good with a gun blade. <laughs> but yes, I dare say we can create an opening wide enough for at least one of us to slip through. I love him. <laughs> that you, of course. No others are welcome to follow in your wake. Reen and I will keep our guests occupied. Brave and selfless as ever. Yet the two of you may struggle to fool our foes, etherically sensitive as they are. A comrade who could use destructive magics to wreak havoc upon the ambient ether, on the other hand. <laughs> <laughs> and I have Very you, well. Gio. I too shall assist in the diversionary effort. Oh, not this old dance again. Yes, obviously, I'll stay and fight. <laughs> I love her. I'm about to do a great many stupid and reckless things. Watch my back, would you? <laughs> I love her so much! Uh. And there you have it. Take care of yourself, my friend. You as well. Dun 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 dun. Um, 
making a nice big opening, eh? <laughs> we'll do our best. Finished? Then let's begin. I love her so much. Is done. Oh, let me see, let me see. Oh, yes, your memories are preserved safely within. We've done it, we've done it at last. <sighs> I have inspected the other vessels. They are all ready to receive of our friends' memories. Oh, excellent! Excellent! I shall have my familiars bear word to them at once! Elidibus. Don't, don't, don't. It was not until I observed the battle between Emmet Selk and the Warrior of Darkness that I realized what I must do. I will summon heroes from other worlds unto the first, just as you did. Their presence shall serve to empower me, granting me the strength to crush my enemy. Though it pains me to disappoint you, I feel compelled to explain that the magic in question requires no small amount of preparation. Ah, but you assume I require my champions to be summoned in their entirety? I do not. Their souls needn't even be whole. My purpose requires no more than their burning desire to vanquish evil. This I shall sear upon the ether, raising thereby an army of phantom heroes to whom I shall whisper, as I have to so many over the ages. Oh, I'm saying that in all of its body. Here lies darkness. <sighs> it must be destroyed. And you expect me to cooperate? I do not require your cooperation. Your death will suffice. The magic I shall have from your corpse. Go, Lucas! Very, very nice. Hello? Hmm. 
My friend, how did you? No matter, Elidibus, he took us unawares. It was all we could do to raise a war to hinder his steps, and so we fled. But he took it. The vessel with the Exarch's memories. Forgive me. Forgive me. The vessel bears not only my memories, but my blood. The blood of Allegan royalty, granting him the means to control the tower. With it, he has performed I know not how many summonings calling forth heroes from across the rift. And, as you can see, the burden upon the tower is beginning to tell. I'm just glad you're alive. Make sure you stay that way. If you mean to face him alone, I will not allow it. Not this time. <sighs> Elidibus has exploited the people's nobility, twisted their purest intentions for terrible ends. And I cannot let it stand. As Exarch, it is my duty to protect them, to defend their hopes and dreams. So I am going to the Crystal Tower, with or without your blessing. Though, I would rather it were with. Thank you. I join you, but I would only be a burden. Please have a lovely Better nap. I remain here with my gremlin. Yes. I shall send help. Stay strong, my friend, and take heart. By binding Elidibus within the tower, we have done more than simply delay him. Much like our adversary. I am not wont to show my hand prematurely, but the time has come to bring my strongest card to bear. To the tower! I'm very worried he's going to do something very silly. <laughs> I, I... Anxiety. <laughs> the ex doing something silly doesn't sound like him. You mean Crystal Big Fuck ex -hug? He's never done a, a silly, goofy little move in his goddamn life! <laughs> Ever! No. With your permission, I would make a brief stop at a sensor, uh, a sensor gate, just long enough to send the guard to Becklug's aid, you understand? Were it not for them, we would never have escaped Elidibus, much, le much less with the Spur of Vessels. The mine fell into our foe's clutches. Beckler gathered up the rest at great risk to themselves. 
I must see that they are safe before we press on. Enough good people have given their lives that I might fulfill my duty. Stupid and sexy and like oh, oh. oh. I just I also just say I love Ali say so much. <laughs> I love her so much. If people hate Ali say you're just wrong. I'm 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 so down for subjective opinions. Until Ali say, <laughs> you're wrong, I'm sorry. You just don't understand good rock characters. It's, you don't get it. You don't get it. You don't get it. A warrior of darkness, Exog, forgive us this paltry greeting. We were not notified of your coming. It wasn't planned. I need you to assemble a rescue party. Our friend Declug lies wounded in a clearing to the west. Pray go to their aid with all haste. At once, my lord. M may I ask how they came to harm? There have been reports of enemies in our midst. Spectres who appeared after the star shower. Do they have something to do with it? Yes. The man who attacked Declug is also responsible for the star shower and the appearance of the spectres. I have no time to explain, but know that the individual in question does not seek to do indiscriminate harm. If you do not bar his servant's path, they will not turn on you. You are to leave this foe to us, understood? Meanwhile, I ask that you alert the rest of the guard and focus on maintaining calm in the city. Understood. Lena? Oh no. I shall take charge of matters in the city. Find back luck now. No time to explain. Hmm. The graver the matter, the less inclined you are to speak of it, even when it is plain for all to see, like what is happening to you. Helena, this time there truly is no time. I know, my lord. For matters otherwise, I would believe you would be willing to speak of your past if pressed. Yet, I remain afraid to do so. Afraid that what I might learn would make a stranger of you. Forgive me, there is no time. Are you kidding? No, are we, yes, we have time. Indeed. Time must be made. Lena? Uh... Do you remember the time you got lost in the tower when you were little and I searched for you for hours on end? And the cake I baked for your tenth name day? By the hideous lump the good people of the mean covered with beautiful candles. And your hapless first encounter with the Sin Eaters as a guard. Afterwards, you threw yourself into your training, pretending nothing was wrong, though I could see the tears in your eyes. All these moments that we shared, all the feelings that accompanied them, 
they are as real as all that came before and nothing will ever change that will ever change what we mean to one another if i have made you worry and i beg your forgiveness heavens know you deserve better through the darkest of times you have kept faith with me standing tall as a proud daughter of the crystarium as an example to us all I count myself blessed to have had you in my life, and I want you to know that. Why do you speak so? As if this were our last meeting. Truly, you have a knack for making people worry. <laughs> Besides, it is you who are an example to us all. You who had led us through countless trials. And you who will lead us through countless trials to come. So go, my lord. Do what you must. But take care. I need more hugs in this video game. Read the, the, the Eva Lee's raids and the, the Eden raids. They took all the hugs from all of the game. <sighs> Thank you for the follow. <sighs> the ward holds. Excellent. Elidibus will still be within the tower. Our foe's sole purpose is to destroy you, and to that end, he has summoned heroes from other reflections, empowering himself with their hope even as they occupy your comrades. You will not best him as easily as you did in the depths. By any measure, the odds are now stacked firmly in his favour. To wit, spare no preparation, my friend. I shall lift the ward only when you are ready. I don't know if I'll ever be ready, I'm gonna be real with you. <sighs> you are ready then. Very well. I shall lift the ward. You know, it wasn't so long ago that I watched you seal the place up. <laughs> ah, before I began my slumber, you mean? <laughs> it seems rather longer to me, but yes, what strange symmetry. This time I break the seal, and I have no intention of locking myself away again. Nay, together we will enter, and together we will leave in triumph. So come, my friend, let us be about it.
Amanda. We must keep climbing. I can't believe we get to do Cyclist Tower and Labyrinth of the Ancients and it all over again. That's what I've always dreamed. Don't do that. was but a matter of time. I cannot keep up with you, nor will it avail us to make a stand here. You must go on without me. Find Elidibus and stop him. Worry not, my friend. Though I am no warrior, I have learned to hold my own over the years. When first we explored this tower, you and your fellow adventurers formed the van while I was left to follow in your wake. Suffice it to say, I was not best pleased with the arrangement. How I wished that I could join you. And now I have, here where it all began. I was right to trust in you, and the power of your legacy of your name, to let them guide my every deed. For Elidibus is my name, and my mission, guiding my every deed. both questions. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, Princess Gary, you. I'll give you a piggyback all the way. chosen another, we would never have made it this far. Or do I mistake your meaning? <laughs> His animations are so cute. Ah. Elidibus spoke in similar terms, you say? How curious. To answer your question, then, I made my choice for reasons which seemed obvious to me, but may not to any other. <laughs> there were the expectations I placed upon myself before beginning my slumber, and the expectations of those who roused me. Of course, I had the choice to turn my back on a lot of it, but in the end, it was no choice at all. I cherish the time I spent with you and the others. What I wouldn't give to return to those halcyon days. 
Chasing ancient secrets, overcoming trial after trial with the aid of like-minded comrades. And what remarkable comrades they were. In such company, I felt as if I were a character in the epic tales that had stirred my heart as a boy, as if my dream had come true. It hadn't, of course, for I was no hero, neither then nor after. Though the world to which I awakened and the first were beset with myriad problems, I rarely knew how best to play my part. There was, however, one thing of which I was certain, that I could not bear to let those dear to me meet a tragic end. I'm afraid our time is up. Go! Rest assured, you haven't seen the last of me. I wouldn't dream of playing my trump card save in your presence. You better not. of a possible future. Worthless, or worthless as memories of the only past, fated to fray and fade into oblivion, leaving naught but a gaping void. King Sands. Yes, that was the place. The place I first made myself known to you and yours. The seventh rejoining had left the realm listing dangerously towards darkness, and events were unfolding that threatened to push it over the brink. Thus did I approach you in my capacity as emissary, thinking that you would make a useful pawn. But I was wrong. And for my misstep did La Habrea and Emmet Selk pay the ultimate price, leaving me the last of the unsundered. My remaining brethren, fragmented as they are, I cannot hope to see our mission to its end. It falls to me alone. Defeat is not an option. I will strike you down. I will resurrect Lord Zodiac, and I will bring back those who sacrifice themselves to call him forth. Though it take a thousand, thousand years, Upon my honor as a Lydipus, emissary of the Convocation of Fourteen, I will see this done.
know that his devotion is not without reason, even if he himself can no longer remember what that reason is. I want to hug him. All of these Asians. I don't know about that, Hopera. The other two Asians, they just need some therapy and hugs and, and just. Oh. We worry too much, Elidibus. This dedication to your duty verges on obsession. every day oh my god okay it's fine Ooh. oh oh those are both so mean i know he's not a good boy but ow jesus <clears throat> However hard you struggle, you will never bring back the convocation. What of it? I have my mission. I am Elidibus, and it is my duty to steer mankind and the very star upon their true course. This I swore to, to someone. We spoke, and I swore. What? What did I... <laughs> this... Pain. This torment is nothing, no more than must be suffered to deliver the world from its doom. No more than any of you malformed creatures have known. Even should you lose all that is dear to you, even should it cost you your life, you bear the burden and fight on. Kicking and screaming until your last breath is spent. <laughs> Aye, it's true. We've lost much and more. Known unimaginable suffering. But through it all, we never, ever forgot what was dear to us. And that's what gave us the strength to carry on. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Even if I left to fight. No. No. It will not end here. <laughs> oh no. Champions from beyond the rift, heed my call. The time is come to deliver your brethren from darkness. My heart's sole desire is a world free of sorrow. Join with me now in hope and prayer for the salvation of all.
If you would usher in the end, then with my all shall I oppose you. As the avatar of those mortal heroes who fought unfalteringly in all their imperfection. As the warrior of light incarnate. Come, warrior of darkness. Let us finish this. Herein I commit the Chronicle of the Traveller, shepherd to the stars in the dark. Though the world be sundered and our souls set adrift, where you walk, my dearest friend, fate shall surely follow. For yours is the fourteenth seat, the seat of Aslan. making. What are you? No, it matters not. You are the enemy, and you will fall. Even should it cost me everything, I will not forsake my duty. interesting before I forget to say this um with his like forgetting things and like not knowing who he is and such the idea of him not becoming his true form in the same way Emmett did but like absorbing other forms does that, does that make sense like he has to become what he thinks his duty and all of that, rather than Emmett, who was so lot like, yeah, I don't know. What? For my people, for our world, I will strike you down. Also, Elidibus's voice actor, holy moly, that bit where his voice is like breaking and he doesn't know who he is and he doesn't, he doesn't remember. Oh my God, that was heartbreaking. Like I barely know him, but that, that heart. Oh, oh. I hope we're ready gamers. We're gonna have no deaths, only wins, I believe. This is gaming. Oh, oh, this is gaming. Oh, 
Elidibus picks his words so carefully but so that he never lies to the summoned warriors. Well. I love that about Elidibus, that he doesn't manipulate in an easy way of lying to them. He does it by telling truths. He manipulates by only giving what he wants to give. It's so good. Oh, I'm so shaky. I'm gonna be so bad in this trial. I'm like so anxious and shaky. Oh my god. This battle shall be our last. Oh, I didn't even give um Oh this song! I didn't give Cardi oh. I mean, it's, oh, oh, okay. I don't get that bit of it, but we'll, I'll get that. Very chilly in the Crystal Tower. The, the heating's broken over there. Steel, the Exarch the said he'd get that fixed, and he just—he's let us in. No deaths. I've not seen the death. No one's dead. Can you see a death person? I, I sure can't. Elidibus? Elidibus? Here where we ask the ends have been forced to retreat time and time again. I don't know what he said, but that's fine. He will smash- Oh, I forgot you did that. You clutch the crystal of Asm to your breast and wish upon it with all your heart. And so it ends in unceremonious silence.
You're gonna cry! <laughs> I can't play the rest of the game, I'm gonna cry! <laughs> For victory, I render up my all. <laughs> wow, this is really Your cool. Will be salvation. What? I don't even understand what it means. I just. <laughs> you still stand. Be gone, sword of shadow. But I can't do this game anymore. I just, I just. <laughs> it's a great game, but like, why one cause? I don't know what I'm meant to do. Must be destroyed. Surrender. Oh, grant me strength. It's fine. What does it all mean? I don't like I'm so glad to add another song to my playlist from Final Fantasy XIV that I won't be able to listen to without crying. It's very cool. Very fun. Oh, 
What well, good was mana anyway to anyone? Follows. Thank you so much. Um, I can wait for the ads. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll I'll wait to carry on. Wow. Oh. <laughs> oh. G post time. Oh my god, so true. Now this is gaming. Stop. <laughs> Stop. He's not cooperating with me. What the? Uh... <clears throat> um, let me know when ads are done, by the way, and I'll, 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 I'll know it's okay to continue on. I did not think that not only a duty but also a, a a trial could make me so emotional today thank you so much for the three months like broken angels cast from heaven's gate, we only fly when falling, falling far from grace. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, welcome back. How and why did M? Um... Um... I don't even want to say it, like, <laughs> I'm just like, I can't even say it. It's too... <laughs> there we go. Good job, team. Holy moly! An ambush! Not now! Thank you so much, Sophronia, for the 10 gifted subs. I was ambushed by my favorite character, who then made me mess up the whole rest of the trial. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sophronia. Holy moly, that is so freaking kind. Thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. <sighs> Iphone 3 kind of sucks. <laughs> Uh, I hate to do this. I think I need the. I need to go to the bathroom before we leave, and stuff carries on. I don't think I even understand all of the implications of everything that just happened yet. 
because I had this whole theory. I realized that oh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'm gonna do what I. You're gonna see why I was crying. Why I started crying with my BRB screen. Uh, <coughs> Bye. Hello. <laughs> oh my god. How are we doing? Because I am not doing well. <laughs> uh, my god. This game. Pretty good. <laughs> I'm good. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Ten Jenk. Am I saying that right? Thank you so much for your first gift sub here. That's so kind of you. Thank you so much. Oh, am I going to be... Actually, I might put on a jumper as well. Hold on. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Give me two seconds. Got it right. Perfect.
I don't know why I went on the BLB screen, but oh well. <laughs> I'm too cold. It's all the feelings that is taking all the heat from my body. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Leo, for the prime. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't want to leave. <laughs> I'm scared. What if I just never left and nothing ever happened and then I never had to know? The bear screen is very cute. Thank you. I love G posing and to cope with my feelings. <laughs> it's a good time. Just hang out with edibles. <laughs> uh, I'm just so shaky. I don't know. <laughs> Oh. oh wait, can I? Okay. Checking the mod chat thing. Yes, I will. I will. Mods, what the? F blah blah blah. Should you be typing? I'm. I'm receiving information. You and out another big step closer to our mental state, our perspective when we watch people <laughs> stream through AR and shadow rooms. Yeah, I'm sorry. Thank you, party people. Thank you so much. You're wonderful. Okay, we go. We go. Nothing. I am immortal, yet I will never surrender. <sighs> Elidipus, so fixated were you on my memories of the future, you failed to heed the lessons of the past. Your obsession blinded you to the true nature of this tower, this beacon of hope for mankind. Created to serve as a reservoir for the limitless energy of the heavens. To harness and bind the boundless. Not unlike white orosite. Your ill-begotten power. Obtained by exploiting that which is best in us. I shall have it. Your soul and all! <laughs>
This is... Yes. I would become him. I would save everyone. This is... I believed. Yet still they cried out in rage and despair. Divided over the fate of the star. A rare occurrence, always fleeting. But not this time. Not this time. Reconciliation. Elizabeth. I was needed. I withdrew myself from Zodiac. For them. My people. My brothers. My friends. Stay strong. Keep the faith. At duty's end, we will meet again. We will. We will. The rains have ceased, and we have been graced with another beautiful day. But you are not here to see it. I concede I may have overexerted myself. <laughs> Steady now and listen. I told you before that I had a plan and that when all is said and done, I would ask a favor of you. We have averted the eighth umbral calamity. Found a way for everyone to return to the source. And last but not least, we have secured the future of all the people of Norvrand. We have won, my friend. So, I hope you'll forgive me this moment of selfishness and while I wouldn't want you to feel obliged. Promise me you'll take me on your next adventure. A journey. Together. That's all I ask. isn't the end, that we will meet again, would you believe me?
My friend, with you, my mind and memory shall travel to the ends of the world and beyond. But in this place shall my body stand immovable. <laughs> May it serve as an undying promise, not only to those who look to me for leadership, but to any soul who has known despair, that hope is everlasting. <laughs> Sark would remain, keeping his silent vigil. When the Scions were not released from his summoning spell, we proceeded with the plan to return them to the Source. The Warrior of Darkness, however, retained her ability to traverse the two worlds at will. And in time, the Crystal Tower became a symbol of her link to the First, and of hope. How we do it, gamers? Yeah, it's raining really hard right now. It's a terrible day for rain. Thank you for the hydrate. Enjoying 14 so far. It's great. I mean, it's really great. It's really great. It's very fun. I do think it's my favorite Final Fantasy I've played now, which is sick. Very cool. to bring this simply goes too hard for once to describe true. 
The big fuck, he got a statue. <sighs> Thank you for follows. Honey, you said earlier you were really about some of the themes they were doing. Do you regret that now? No. Also, yes. I really, really love stories that are about, like, they have such a, a despair about them, but the, I don't know how to put my thoughts into words. Um, there is so much pain and despair, but like hope is what, uh, hope is what keeps people going. And even through all the darkness and all the sadness and losing so much, that hope is what keeps them going and pushes them forward. And persevering, yeah. Kicks you down so you get to see coming standing back up. Yeah. 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 Uh at such moments it is hard to know what to say. Are you alright, my friend? Oh <laughs> You did well. You only fucked. Shortly after you left, we observed that our enemy's ranks were no longer being replenished. Presumably when your absence was noted. So we polished them off and came as quickly as we could. How has it been six hours? <sighs> Which is to say, not quickly enough. But then you had the exarch for company, didn't you? And you could ask for no better than that. I remember the days I didn't trust that man at all. I thought he was a little, I just, I did not trust him. I thought he was gonna be very mean to me and my friends. And I thought he was so poor. We descend from the throne room. I did chance upon an object which, if I have the right of it, did once. And my, my apologies. We have now is not an appropriate time. Let us speak of it later. Sometimes I wish that I too had been gifted with the echo. Then I might see what you have seen and glimpse into your heart without the need for words. And we all just listen to you slander our best friend. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Hmm. Am I alright? I should be the one asking you. But yes, I'm fine, thank you. We all laughed. The people are fine, the city's fine, and the star showers have stopped. It's almost as if we've We'd gone back to the peaceful days that followed the night's return. Almost. Oh. Hakane, if you are ready, would you recount to us how the day unfolded?
So he reached out to Elidibus at the last, and his heart was moved. Oh my god, I didn't even talk about Elidibus being a child. He really was a little bus. And he was so lost and alone. I'm so confused what Endwalker is going to be. <laughs> and his friends want that to see the beautiful day. Just happy stuff. It's like a beach episode, but it's a whole expansion. <laughs> oh, good. Good, good. So he reached out to Elidibus at the last, and his heart was moved. I love it when they give the wall character, and it's so good, and it's so tasty, and then yum yum yum. I'm not sure I did the right thing. Perhaps he did. Perhaps he did not. None can say. But the important thing is this. Though violence proved unavoidable, you did at least come to understand your foe. And in knowing his hopes and dreams, do we best remember him? Him and his legacy. So long as they remain unforgotten, the love he and his brethren bore for one another and the star may yet be rewarded. You said that an ancient came to your aid. But how is that possible? A gift from Emmett Selk. He knew of Elidibus's plight. Well, seeing his own death, he made provisions to bring Elidibus' suffering to an end. <laughs> Lest his friend be... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Lest his friend be left to continue the struggle alone. So I wildly speculate. It is unlikely we will ever know the truth. The best we can do is to remember events as they happened, no more and no less. As the wrong can so rightly put it, history is learned, not lived. Ah, there you all are. Hello, Backlog. It's so good to see you. My friend, we were given to understand thou wert injured. Shouldst thou not be abed? Lie down at a time like this. Don't be absurd. I would have come sooner had the gods not made such a fuss. Now, tell me what's happened. Where is this egg? Where is the exarch? Uh. Where is big fuck? <laughs> uh. I see. Hakane, will you show me his spirit vessel? Yes, both his soul and memory seem intact. Good. 
unlike the others, his ether was not highly charged, and so it did not seem necessary to employ a familiar for the imbuing. But I needed to be certain all the same. Oh, what a relief. Then tis but a question of restoring his soul unto his flesh. And as thou didst lately tell me, the success of this process resteth on no more than our friend's soul recognizing his flesh as its own. Given his apparent desire to return to the source with Hakane, one would think his soul would be only too happy to be home, no? Surely it wouldn't balk at the relative newness of its accommodation. So one would hope that none can speak for the exarch's heart of hearts, and he can no longer speak for himself. Furthermore, though I have drawn upon all of my not inconsiderable experience to predict the outcome, the fact remains that there is no direct precedent for what we are attempting. Will his body accept his soul? Will his essences blend properly? Will he awaken hold of mind? Any number of things could go awry. Assuming I have succeeded in tempering your expectations, I should probably add that I did ask the Exarch if he still wished to return to the source in full knowledge of the risks. A simple enough question, one would think, warranting a single word reply. Yet the answer I received was rather longer than that. Almost comically so, in fact. Regardless, out of respect for the man, I shall attempt to recite it with a certain amount of poetic license. <laughs> I wonder if they put a plaque under his crystal statue that is engraved with the words he lies crystal big for I hate what I have done to this poor man. <laughs> As I grew older, the burdens I carried became ever more numerous. Burdens which weighed upon my hopes, burying them deep within my breast. So deep that I couldn't be certain that they were still there. But when I look around me, I am reminded that, no matter how deeply buried they may be, our hopes never truly disappear. No, they are always with us, guiding us, driving us. I see it in Vor 3 who sought to vindicate his existence by creating his paradise. I see it in Ranjit, who forsook his life's cause in order to protect that which he held most dear. I see it in the people who chose to struggle rather than surrender to despair. This music is so unfair. And though our struggles may differ greatly, since the very beginning of time, they have all shared that one common thread. Hope. We struggle because we have hope. And when the time comes, I too will embrace mine. I will follow my heart regardless of the risks. And I will live with all my being, as befits one who has been granted a second chance. There. I told you it was long. An unspeakably sentimental to boot. One would think them the outpourings of a dewy-eyed boy, not the old man the exarch seems to believe he is. I mean, really. He's scarcely been alive as long as I've been in hiding. I dare say he is blushing in his vessel. Speaking of which... We should make ready for our journey. Time remains of the essence after all. Needless to say, once we leave, there is no guarantee that we can return. I cannot do Thancred and Reen. If anyone has unfinished business, now is the time to see to it. I must pay a visit to Slytherbell. Let us reconvene here anon.
Hmm. There remain some few matters which require my attention in Ilmec. May I leave Thancred in thy care, child? <laughs> um, I've been meaning to get some flowers for Minfilia. I thought you might help me choose them. And then we could go to Nabatha Ring together. One last time. A fine suggestion. Lead on. Well, inspect it all more for me. Amongst other things, I owe the mayor an apology about his airship. <laughs> I assume you have places of your own to be only say. I shall see you later. I shall take this opportunity to conduct a final inspection of the spirit vessels. Given what is at stake, one can never be too thorough. Very true. <sighs> ah. These scenes deserve a larger screen, right? Ah. Ooh. This is the Lena scene before the trial, not being voiced to crimes. The the Lena scene, honestly, that. Uh, I, I, I mind less about that one, but the Lena scene I wish was voiced, and the only other scene I'm like, I am shocked that it was not voiced, is um, the, the, the Gaius Estinian Xenos standoff. Those are three of the best voices in the, the whole world, and I didn't get to hear them interact. I, how dare. How dare. They should have been, they should have been boys. <sighs> I thought it was boys for a couple years until I replayed it. It feels so important that I assumed it was and could hear those VAs so clearly in my memory. That's good at least. The issue is that it was during COVID so the VA were not as available as planned. I think that makes sense for sure. For sure. You know that VA's would have killed her. Oh my god, that like the edginess of hearing Gaius, Estinian, and Xenos <laughs> in the same room. <laughs> it would have been too much. Maybe that's why it wasn't voiced. Not COVID. It was because none of us would have survived. <laughs> uh hi Mr. Sizzler, what's up? How are you doing? Welcome. <sighs> The amount of VA in Endwalker and Beyond is a huge step up. Hell yeah. I did see like, um... Oh, I don't remember what the videos were. It was either like all voiced cutscenes or it was just all cutscenes. But like the jump in hours between each expansion. Like Shadowbringers was such a like double Stormblood maybe? And then Endwalker is double Shadowbringers, which is insane. Um, something like that. I think that's all cutscenes. We probably are thinking of the same thing. Um, I had a reverse issue. I went a year or so being disappointed that the little sun cutscene wasn't first. <laughs> uh. Let's thank Igor. Ishikawa. I think Ishikawa is like joint first in my favorite writers ever. Like I, she is incredible. I, she is incredible. I do not know how she managed to get so much agony 
and feed it directly into my heart, but she sure did. Ishikawa and Tagashi are the two writers that just... They, they see my heart and my soul and they go, Haha, what if I just crushed that to dust in my hand? And then, and then I... Yeah. <clears throat> I saw the game three days ago. Oh my gosh, heads up. This is big spoiler stuff. Um, big, big spoiler stuff. So definitely be careful. Um, but I'm glad you're enjoying the game. Um, I just checked and it's all voiced cutscenes. Um, Stormblood is seven hours, Shadowbringers is 10, and Endwalker is 16. <laughs> Holy moly. What the frick is Endwalker gonna be about? Obviously don't answer this, don't even hint, I don't- don't tell me anything. What? I thought Elidibus was the- b <laughs> I thought Elidibus was the bad boss of the <laughs> The only thing I- so like, when- when when the Exarch was like destroying Elidibus, the only thing I could think of was if until he until I thought about the Exarch going soul and all, I was like, oh maybe it's just destroying like Elidibus in Arthur? Or like as the Warrior of Light or whatever. And then And then obviously he he became the the ancient or what have you. And I was like, oh okay, that's not gonna happen then. And now I just what? <laughs> huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> and because you don't unlock flying, you have to walk. <laughs> Use the littlest bus. Oh. And Walker is dedicated to Hannah and her aversion to either car. <laughs> I get to do so much walking. Wow. Um. As you've probably guessed, I'm going to pay a visit to the inn at Journey's Head, but I want you to come too. I realize you don't need to say any farewells, but the Axarch does, if only in spirit. So I thought you might bring him along, so to speak. You are the most perfect, wonderful angel. I'm sure he'd love the thought of being lugged about on his hero's back. So let's be off, shall we? I can't wait to see how Harrick's doing. I love Alice so much. I just think she is the best. I just love her so much. And I just think she's great. And I love her forever. <clears throat> Will the banker get the driver's license? Whoa, spoilers. Damn. Damn. Is Haruk not here? Is that good? Is that bad? Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Oh good, thanks Alice. We haven't cried enough. Howrick? Howrick? Oh gods. Don't tell me he's wandered off again. Quickly, Agony. We have to find him. Oh, Alice. I didn't see you there. If you're looking for Howrick, he's gone for a walk with one of the others. They were planning to visit the graveyard, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, oh, that's a relief. Shall we adjourn to the graveyard then? There's never enough tears. Oh, but maybe there is. <laughs> uh, have I gone the wrong way? I sure have. <laughs> Little bunny does the vibes. Oh, 
from Lizard. If you attack me, I'll be so mad. Oh, greetings, Hakane. Looking for Howard by any chance? There he is. I was afraid he'd wandered off again. Oh, there's no need to worry. Halric's safe and well. He's been showing good progress and likes to go for walks of late. Though his steps usually bring him to this particular spot. Oh, I wasn't aware he had family here. He doesn't. It's Tesleen. I knew it. Her sword, that is. We buried it here in her honor. So he remembers. What brings you back so soon out of interest? I don't think the next round of treatments were due yet. Uh, no, it isn't. Look, I realize this is sudden, but I've come to say goodbye. It's time for me to return home. But rest assured, the treatments will continue. Beck Lug will come to oversee them in my stead. I see. You did mention that you and your friends were searching for a way home. Needless to say, we'll be sorry to see you go. But I know everyone will be happy for you. Truly. Happy and grateful. You've done so much for us. Achieved what none of us dared hope was possible. And we'll see to it that your good work continues, and that no more poor souls are buried here before their time. So rest easy, and take care. We wish you every happiness. Thank you. I will miss you all. But it isn't time to say our farewells quite yet. So if there are any tasks that need doing, hunting beasts, fetching water, and what have you, just say the word. I mean to make use of every last moment here. After all, the time left to you is precious. That's right, Helric. That's exactly right. Those words will guide you true. So never forget them. And neither will I. Did she start crying at the end? <laughs> you too, Halric. You take care as well. She did always have, enjoy having visitors, and none were more welcome than you and Ali say. <sighs> I kind of forgot that they've literally been living on the first few years. Like they've at least started to build a life here, and then have to have to leave it again. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I, I have Alice, so if, if you if you would like Alice, please keep Alice for yourself. Um everyone. You are the warrior of darkness. And I um feel embarrassed remembering how I told you your your own poem. <laughs> there is no <laughs> There is no need to guide me beyond the sunless sea yet. I will remain beside Howrick to see the man. He will now get to grow up to be?
<laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Abby is so evil. No, that was beautiful. Oh. Yeah, but no, they, they have been here for so long. And it's... It's had to become home. What? I'm not crying. I just have sand in my eye, that's all. Mm. As I mentioned, I mean to stay here as long as possible. In the meantime, perhaps you could go and look in on the others. Alfino, for instance. If anyone is crying, it will be him. Whatever you say, my queen. Absolutely. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Alice has never cried over... No, nor have I, actually. Now to come to think of it, neither of us have cried. Not once. Mm -mm. Oh, Alpha, no! <laughs> <laughs> Please, Lady Chai, dry your eyes. <laughs> the thought of never seeing you again is more than my poor heart can bear. <laughs> oh, honey. Oh, no. <laughs> Honestly, I would be the same. I would be having an absolute breakdown. <laughs> oh, it's you. As you can see, Alphano has broken the news. I don't know how to console her. She thinks we'll be lost without him. <laughs> I was gonna say, can we give them like a picture of him? <laughs> Does that work? You're certainly well loved. Tis more than I deserve. Yet I'm truly grateful and will see that she knows as much. Oh, <laughs> It's a baby. Oh. Oh. Lady Chai, I have a confession to make. Oh? On the day we ousted Lord Vorthry, when I revealed the truth of his tyranny and your complicity in his crimes, I did so with great trepidation. Not out of fear that you wouldn't listen, but that you might never recover. There was a time when I too, in my hubris, believed myself worthy to lord it over others. And when the lie was laid bare, when I was forced to confront the cost, the lives lost, it all but destroyed me. To awaken from a naive dream to so harsh a reality, I would have understood had you all surrendered to despair. But you didn't surrender. Far from it. You picked yourselves up and rose to the challenge. You found a path forward and the strength to walk it, and to keep walking it, day after day. But what struck me is how much faster you found it than I did. Really? That felt pretty slow to me. <laughs> but rest assured, we'll make Yulmore into a nation anyone would be proud to call home. Eventually. Mm-hmm. He has. He's grown up so, so much. Oh, I think it's great that to her you're a psycho says Alfie. I agree, it's so good. I mean, it's like kind of all of the areas, really, right? Um, high level zero, welcome. There has been so much pain. Don't worry, I I will wait. Let me know when ads are done. <sighs> Hi, Chris. How's it going? I'm really glad with the direction they took China's and Julia 
make made them really lovable characters rather than pompous rich people. Yeah, and it's like they still are clearly so flawed and the pompous rich people, but because of everything that's happened, they've also grown so much. And like, especially with Dulia, I feel like she could have been made into such a joke. Um, and they didn't. And I'm really, 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 really glad that they didn't because I would have like, I would have been so disappointed if they'd have like gone anywhere close to that territory and like made any kind of jokes about it, um, about her, but they didn't, which is very cool. I was so afraid. Oh, big same. Big same. Um, I knew she was very like loved from people's reactions, which I was really happy about, but I was I played too many JRPGs and they can be, <laughs> you know, um, they can be a time. So I was very, very happy. Um, the Chai's are my absolute faves. I'm so happy for them. And yes, oh my God, the China, uh, the China's duty where you have to help him with his anxiety and then the FPS shooter game with him and helping him out there as well and his little journey to um to become there oh it's so lovely and then dulia just like supports him no matter what and that's lovely as well and they're just a beautiful couple it's so lovely it's so wonderful i just think they're neat and they deserve all the love truly <clears throat> You can still come and go as you please, I believe. When we have good tidings to report, I may trouble you to be their bearer. The love is so love. I tried being such a wife guy made me love as I know. I'm such a wife guy, male wife lover. I completely agree. There may also be less than good tidings, in which event I hope I can trouble you for your counsel. I should be honored to provide it, Master Chai. Oh, Alphano, I know you aren't one to sit still, but do remember to take your ease from time to time. And no matter where you are, remember that there are people here who are praying for your health and happiness. Our brave and gentle artist, you have our love now and always. And you mine. No. Please take care. the airship crash into our ring. <laughs> Never mind. The important thing is you're all safe and well. That said, you should probably retrieve the wreck before the local strip of a trolley pass. <laughs> no, more trolleys. The more trolleys in the world, the better. I understand the exarch will be leaving with you. Capable though its custodians are, the Crystarium will be poorer for his absence. It seems the coming years will be a period of transition for both our cities. But through mutual cooperation, I am confident we will find a way forward. The trolley, my favorite character of Big Bringers. Oh, thank goodness you can so return. If I had to bid farewell to you both, my heart would burst here and now. But like Alfino, I know that yours is a life of constant employment. But do visit us from time to time. 
It would mean the world to us. Of course. It is a strange feeling, Hagane, to stand in the company of our friends, knowing that I will never see them again. I struggle to reconcile it in my mind. But this I know. I shall cherish my, my memories of Norvrent, of every soul I met here, for the rest of my days. And I shall look forward to your tales of their endeavours. Cool. Forgive me. I realise now that I never asked you what business brought you here. Can I be of assistance? Get all of the groceries and snacks and I hope they are so yummy. Oh, oh no, I totally get you actually with the persona. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alice said that, did she? Well, as you can see, I am quite all right now. Unlike her, by the sound of it. Hmm. Perhaps you might consider visiting Orionjo Orion next. Given his conversance with the idi idiosyncrasies of the Fey folk, I doubt it will be an issue. But a small part of me worries that they may not relinquish him willingly. As such, I would feel better if you were to look in on our friend. Assuming you have the time, of course. He's going to be turned into a hedge. Oh, no. They're going to have made him into shrubbery. Oh, no. Another Persona gamer? Heck yeah. Yeah. Um, I played five Royal for the first time last year. And it took me six months of streaming. Um, and then I played four last year, which took me a little less. And then three I want to play this year. You can't just say strawberry like that? Huh? <laughs> huh? Oh, oh my goodness. Please feel free to tag me, cat lady, and I'll I'll check it out. Once five not all. I am I am not educated enough. Both playthroughs you can watch on the VOD channel. Oh my goodness, Soda, thank you so much. And on my main YouTube, I have the highlights of Persona 5 Royal, which um, taught me so much about editing. I feel like the later ones are better, but you can watch the first ones as well if you want. <laughs> ah, Ilmeg might be my favorite zone in this whole game, especially at night. I love Ilmeg. When I first came, like, when I first came into Ilmeg, um, Oh my god, I forgot to say. Holy shit. So, when the Exarch, like, looked up to the ceiling and he was like, oh, I think of those halcyon days, all I could think of was Emmett when we come into Raktika and he goes, oh, what, what would I give for those halcyon days? And I was just like, <laughs> And my main my mind frazzled for a moment and I was like, wow, okay, cool. Fuck. <laughs> so that was cool. Um and then Emma just showed up anyway and just stabbed me in the heart. <sighs> All I had to do was that and I just oh and the oh <laughs> I'm fine. It's cool. It's cool. Like the snap, I was like, huh, I think that, was that what that was? But I was like, no, you I, you miss him too much. This is all in your mind. And then he did this and I was like. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> ha, that I should have uh, the pleasure of welcoming a guest, even as mine own occupation draweth to a close. What bringeth thee hither, my friend? Verily. My heart jumped when he snapped and then my ass fell out anyway. 
<laughs> I know, they expect you to keep going. I was just trying so hard not to cry because I love Emmett so much, it hurts. And I was just trying to keep it together whilst trying to heal and not understand any mechanic and God. God. So thou wouldst grant the exarch a final tour of the realm, which hath been his home these hundred years. A noble gesture. As for Master Alphano's concerns, thou mayest rest assured that all is well here. Far from detaining me, our fey friends have agreed to assist in the transportation of these tombs unto the cabinet of curiosity. Naught more remaineth to be done. Regardless, tis well that thou didst come for I had been meaning to show something to thee, an object I chanced to find after thy victory over Elidibus. Though it hath lost its radiance, tis unmistakably a crystal of light, one that did, in all likelihood, once belong to Ardbeck. Having been interred with his body, it would have remained upon his person after his possession by Elidibus, and when his mortal form was, forgive mine indelicacy, consumed by thy foe to feel his transformation, I posit that the crystal did tumble free. Save that which doth abide in thee, it is all that remaineth of our friend. And if thou art willing, I would have thee deliver it unto Seto. I can think of no worthier, worthier recipient than he, and no more fitting a bearer than thee. As ever, thou wilt find the Amaro in Walkerthorf. My thanks, Hackney. Seto! <laughs> that effing shoe ball. Yo. It's just my little guy. He hates me. It's great. <laughs> it's just my little lad. Actually, is it quicker to teleport? Probably. <laughs> Not the puppy. <laughs> Seto the puppy. <laughs> if only one could fly. Imagine flying, but <laughs> Not no. <laughs> Oh, there is a TV right there. <laughs> I couldn't see it because I was too zoomed out. Uh, well, we got some banging tunes. And I already end walking. I gotta limber up for end walking, you know? Like, I can't be unprepared when I have to walk to the end. They should really put flying in this game. Yeah. Remember when 5.3 started with Morin teaching us about the Warriors of Light and the baby cat and then it all went to shit? I know! Uh, and people kept being like, see, 5.3 isn't that scary. It's fine. What, what could be sad about 5.3? Hello, Seto. Hello, it's so lovely to see you. Ah, full glad am I to see you safe and well. Rumours spoke of strange spectral foes bent on your destruction. But with the sky returned to normal, I assume all is well again. So, to what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? Crystal of Light, believed to have belonged to Ardbent, though it has lost its radiance. <laughs> I was like, Chloe, huh? Um, lost its radiance. You would swear that a faint light still shines at its core, as if to remind you that hope never dies. Oh, sorry, I was trying to screenshot it. I don't know if I got it, but that's fine. We are strong. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. <gasps> I 
Is that Ardbert's crystal? So it is. It has changed, but I would know it anywhere. However, did you come by it? Well, it's a long story. enemies found a way to profit from his sacrifice. Oh, it grieves me to think of his body being used for evil ends. But thanks to you, his honor is restored, and he may finally find peace. No words can express my gratitude. I will keep this crystal safe to the end of my days. Rest easy, my friend. You have earned it. I was doing so well. Seto, my old friend. You've grown. Oh, oh, Artbert, how I've missed you. I'm sorry I couldn't keep you safe. Or even console you. Had I only learned to speak sooner, I would have told you how much you meant to me. How much I cared. I hate this game. <laughs> I knew. I always knew. <laughs> but I'm happy to hear it nonetheless. Thank you, Seto. My partner in crime. <laughs> I'm sorry I got a screenshot even through the tears I got. <laughs> continues. <laughs> then I will not yet bid him rest. With you, he may look forward to many more adventures. Uh. 
It has been a while since last I flew. Perhaps I too will go on a little adventure? Ride the winds? Seek <laughs> the horizon? Yes. I think perhaps I will. Take you beyond the farthest horizons, and may they always lead you safely home. Level 80, yo. I'm working, I'm working tirelessly. I'm working, I'm working. I'm trying so hard. I'm, 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 I'm not even halfway. I'm trying so hard. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying so hard. It takes so long, and I have to do the Crystal Tower Roulette so many times. <laughs> Labyrinth of the Ancients, eight days in a row. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> I do it for big fuck. <sighs> Big fuck my favorite character for real. I know that that is a reason to weep. Uh, uh. <laughs> my old friend, here we go again. Oh. Big duck. Mm. True. True. No, he's big duck now. Crystal big duck egg sock. Crystal big fuck egg suck. <sighs> Arguably this is the worst game I've ever played in my life. They don't call it midbringers for nothing. I just remembered you were doing this. How's it going? It's really good. I'm doing so well. I've had a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, a realm reborn was honestly where I peaked. Uh, it all was downhill from there. Uh, thou art returned. Tell me, how did Seta receive thine offering? Yeah, I loved it, man. I was Remarkable. It was fated that thou shouldst be the one to undertake this task, I think. Ah, uh, my face is... <laughs> God. As Ardbert liveth on in thee, so too shall he and his comrades live on in the hearts of the people of Northrend. What time did you actually start actively playing? Like half an hour into stream. <laughs> so I've been playing for six and a half hours, I think. <sighs> the one quest in ARR is why it's so critically acclaimed, obviously. And their tale now rightly told shall inspire new warriors of light for generations to come. I like the sound of a lemon waffle. Thank you. J 
gentle smile. One of my favorite Hannah's stream moments is whenever Hannah goes, I've been playing for <gasps> six hours. <laughs> <laughs> it's good fun. Now, assuming thou intendest to continue thy tour, might I suggest slow the bowel as thy next destination? Are we saving Thancred and Rain for Lars? I would like to cease to exist on this mortal realm. The task of tidying up one's abode is seldom light work, yet I suspect a stoller is heavier Ishtolas is heavier than most. God, I read that so wrong. Ishtolas is heavier than Ahirionche? What? What? Suffice it to say, a pair of helping hands might not go amiss. Thank you. For oh my god. Real life sounds just terrified me. I don't know if they came through on the mic, but fuck. Oh. Thank you for the follow. Jesus. Um, they did. I'm so sorry. God, I was like, what's going on in the game? <sighs> Thank you for the follow. Impact Haunted. Honestly, me right now. <laughs> With this game. <laughs> me. Right now. The fairies dropped some of Orange's dishes. Oh no! They were his favorites. Love the Hunter Hunter antagonist. He's better than Meryl on your hoodie. Oh my goodness. Controversial. Oof. Ishtola heard what Orion J said and dropped a million giant glass bottles on him. <laughs> Verily. And what is this? Have you come to spy on me? Is Rana about? Does Orion J truly think me so slovenly? The nerve. Loath as I am to disappoint, I put my affairs in order some time ago. I have even bade my farewells. To everyone save Rana, that is. He's nowhere to be seen. Oh, good. No, I hope they didn't break the one ring painted with her and thank her to Nuri and Jay all holding her. Well, they all held the paintbrush like this. <laughs> Hug her. Master Matoya. For too long, I have remained silent, but no longer. I could not bear it if you were to leave. Please. Stay, I beg of you. Stay, Ishtola. You gotta stay. You got to. Look at him. Rina, please. I jest. <laughs> at least in part. JK and Les? <laughs> what I came to say is this. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Without your wisdom, your strength, and your kindness to guide us, our people would still be lost. We will never forget you, Master Matoya. Wherever your journeys may take you, you will always be in our hearts. And you in mine. Remember that your people's journey, that our people's journey, is yet ongoing. Your lives will change, and so too will your dreams. Yet come what may, you need not forsake your time-honored traditions, nor less your beliefs. But neither should you be beholden to them. For it was with curiosity and courage that the Knights Blessed first triumphed over adversity. New knowledge and new wisdom are ever worthy of pursuit. Indeed they are. And so, until we return to the Sunless Sea, we shall endeavor to live our lives to the fullest. 
That is well. But however great your strides, there may yet come a day when the challenges you face cannot be surmounted alone. On such a day, On such a day. <laughs> Was that necessary? You may call on me. <laughs> Unnecessary stole, but whatever. It's fine. <laughs> Since a means to travel between worlds exists. You can be sure I will find a way to employ it. And there remain so many mysteries here that want for solving. Okay, that was a beautiful animation. You're forgiven. That was incredible. The creepiness, I will forgive this one time. This one time, Ishtola. Master Matoya! Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> Runa, really? <laughs> they are so cute. Please take good care of Master Matoya. See that she eats well and wraps up warm and cold days. He's so cute. Oh, and there is a herbal tea which she enjoys. If I give you the recipe, you could make it for her, perhaps. And uh, uh, above all, please keep her close. I do not deny that she is strong, but even the strongest among us should not be alone. Runa, you were the most perfect little. You're just so perfect. You are the bestest around. Can we promote Runa to big fuck? <laughs> Cope. <laughs> Copium. Copium. Honestly, he's a boy in the body of a man. <sighs> anyway, it is time we headed back to the Crystarium. Shall we? No. <laughs> you still have to take the Exarch to Father Ring. I see. Very well. You can look in on Thancred while you're about it. His will be a difficult farewell, and I am sure he would appreciate your support. The path goes through Twine. If you wait there, you are like to meet him on his way back, if not before. This one, this is an optional quest, right? I don't have to do this one. I can just go straight to the Crystarium. The Exarch always hated armory. Couldn't stand it. Despised it. I mean, we'll miss you, Trolley. You were the best of us. You were the greatest. I love you forever. <laughs> Let me guess. You're here to ride the trolley too. Don't ask me how I know. I can just tell. You're so right. Uh, it's you. Good to see you looking none the worse for wear. Oh no, is my mic showing? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I hate it when that happens. Can you see it? I'm so sorry. Um, thank you for the follow as well. Bing, bing, bing. The mic wants to be included. The mic has to say goodbye to everyone. Uh, you too. What is this? My bloody name day. I see, I see. Yes, Thancred was here. And Green too. They said they wanted to go to Nabatha Rank. So we gave them the use of the trolley. <laughs> Jesus Christ.
My brother has just been very mean to me for crying at a video game. I'll never recover from this. This is why everyone cries, the trolley bit. I see. I see. Um... That's right. The old girl's up and running again. But we didn't just put her back together, mind you. No. With a little bit of help from Master Chai, we made her faster. And stronger. Oh, yes. The future of trolleys is looking brighter than ever. Whisper it, but I reckon it might be time. Time to reach for the stars with a trolley to dwarf all trolleys. Wow. Oh, my God. It is emotional. If you ask me, we'd be better off making them smaller. That way they can fit in narrow shafts. But that... That's genius! Why didn't I think of that? Enough. You can daydream in your own time, in case you've forgotten. Our priority is to have more working trolleys. Your Alfino? My Alfino, yes. Yes. That's why we turn to Chinese, by the way. Not to make the one trolley we've got go faster. We needed help getting a few towers back in working order, you see. So we are out testing them when your eye ship came down, as a matter of fact. You seem to have a bit of habit of crashing things. It's not my fault, usually. We're back. Oh, thanks for the loan of the trolley. Hello. Hi, can I? What are you doing here? Don't tell me the others are waiting for us. That's a relief. At any rate, we've done what we came to do, which means I'm ready to leave. Or as ready as I'll ever be. Not to pry, but what's going on? You off somewhere? You could say that. So you're heading home. I'm just a simple miner and don't know much about this world traversing business. But the, long, the young lady here, she'll be looked after, will she? I'll be fine, thank you. I have a place to stay at the Crystarium and don't want for anything. Besides which, I've recently made a new friend. Her name is Gaia and she'll always be there if I need her. Just like you lot. So please don't worry. I'll be fine, really. If you say so. It being a matter of life and death, I suppose you have to leave. But I, for one, would still be torn. If the choice were mine, I'm not sure I could bear to be parted from my family. No. But it's for the best. Marine has chosen to walk her own path, and she doesn't need me under her feet. Besides, I have my own responsibilities, and I wouldn't be setting a very good example if I neglected them. Hmm, perhaps not. Either way, I envy you your dilemma. Well then, young lady, if there's anything you need, anything at all, you're to call on us. It may surprise you, but we can do more than simply offer you trolley rides. Thank you, Magnus. Everyone. Shall we then? If you've nowhere left to visit, we can go back to the Crystarium together. Anything you need. Anything. Trolleys, small trolleys, big trolleys. <laughs> Mark me what agony. One day, Twine will thrive again, and I hope that Thanker can come back and see it. Him and that funny talking fortune teller bloke. <sighs> His husband, yes, yes, I, I see. <laughs> when it comes to families, you think together was best, but it's not always that simple, is it? Never really thought about it, what with my parents being long gone. The people in this town are the closest thing to family I've got. And to be fair, I'd hate to leave them. Which is why I'm not going anywhere. Bugging me, I forgot to thank Thankard. 
when you get the chance, tell him I'm glad we had that little talk. And tell him we'll look out for the girl. He's got to thank her. No! Yes. Orionje and Thancred and Irene and Gaia, the roommates of all time. Green. <laughs> Why is it always raining? I thought that it would be easier after saying farewell, but each step I took out of Ulmor felt heavier than the last. I did everything I could in the time I had. No regrets. I took the liberty of informing the Crystarium's leaders of our imminent departure. It seemed only right. This is it then. Thank you for the 100 babies. Now seems like a good time for my feisty little chocobo. <laughs> I trust that the Exarch had a pleasant tour of the realm. Hi, Rano. Welcome. Yeah, you know what, actually? Let's, um, I'm gonna quickly just hand in this quest. I, I gotta join a cult. I gotta, you know, I had to freaking become a blank mage to beat someone in triple triad. That's how they get you. That's how they force you in. Oh my god. Oh, it's you. You're probably wondering why I'm not with the others. We love the triple triad. To, I, you know, I would show you my cards if I could. I... So I've recently gotten into Party Finder <laughs> to do Unreal. And all I do... I'm not, I'm definitely, this is not to delay anything that's currently happening, the reason I'm showing this. Um, I'm addicted to Unreal Party Finder, but it take, it can take some time to like, uh, you know, get a party, etc, etc. So I'll just go search for triple triads like cards across the land whilst that's happening. And they made me join the Black Mage, the Thaumaturges, just to, to beat the person with the cards. Anyway. I've got quite a collection growing. I'm quite proud of it. <laughs> um, you're probably wondering why I'm not with the others. For card game! There's a triple triad mount? I didn't even know that. I'm just doing it for fun. But now, actually, I know that there's like an Ardbrook card at some point, I think. Under the character. Oh no, I just can't click on it right now. I know I can show you generally, but because I'm in dialogue, I can't show it. Thank you for the follows. Um, you're probably wondering why I'm not with the others. It's just, I always knew that everyone would leave one day and I always hoped and prayed that we would find a way to send them home. But now that the time has come, I just feel lost lost and lonely. I don't want our last moments together to be sad. I want to hold myself together just long enough to say the things that I need to say. But I'm not sure I can even do that. You can do it. Alright. Thank you, Hakane. I feel braver already. Go on ahead and join the others. I'll be along after I've taken a few deep breaths. Okay, I think I was making it up. I thought her eyes were like redder underneath because she'd been like crying and I was not a fan. Oh wait, I can show you my contact. This is what we want to see, right? I've only been streaming for seven hours and 18 minutes. You know, now that I show it, it's not that impressive. Um, but you know, I got Emeric. 
I got a Sinian? I got the, I got the, I got, I got the, the boys. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got Hien. The Hien, low drop rate as well. Xenos, beautiful. Sadu, beautiful. Um. Him. Omega. Alpha. Great gold whisker. Stormblood Alfie and Alice. I mean, 9S. <laughs> My favorite Final Fantasy XIV character. Great gold, great gold whisker. You guys seem so chill. Welcome. Yes. There's been a lot of emotions today. Oh my god, I really do have 69 cards. Wow. I guess I will never get a card again. <sighs> Aren't you a big fan of him? He's cool. I like him a lot. Like, he was very good for his uh, role. IMO. I think him and um, Yoxiu were really good at showing how, like, there is no... Like, everyone is a victim in uh, the, the way it was, like, set up. Like, in the, the war, no one can come out unscathed, and I just think it was really good. <clears throat> Every time I come in, there's a lot of emotions going on. This game sure is something. It's the worst. Haha. <laughs> I thought that it would be easier after saying farewell. Each time I okay. Absolutely, Sota. That's everyone then. We've all said what we needed to. Oh, a voice. Oh. Even as we speak, Becklug undertaketh their final inspection of our spirit vessels. When thine own preparations for the journey are complete, thou art to present thyself in the ocular. Um, everyone? I want to thank you all, on behalf of the First. You, and Minfilia, and the Exarch. Without each and every one of you guiding us, fighting for us, we wouldn't be standing here now. There wouldn't even be a here. And no words can express our gratitude. We still have a lot to do, countless trials to overcome, but if it ever seems too much, I'll think of our time together. The happy moments, and the sad, I will remember it all, and it will give me the strength to carry on without you. Because you made me who I am. Minfilia, Reen. To honor these names and these memories, I will stand with all the people of this land and strive for a better tomorrow. Tancred, I believe the honor of responding should rightfully be thine. <laughs> I know better than most how much you've grown. 
and I have every confidence you'll make your people proud. Gods know I'm proud of you. I always will be. You deserve all the happiness in the world, and more. <laughs> Might we also say a few words? Why, this is just about all of you. To see you off seemed the least we could do. <sighs> you risked your all for us, fought for a realm not your own. Before you came, we had never known the beauty of the night sky. Or the joy of your company. Though it saddens us deeply to bid you farewell, it has ever been our way to send off friends with a smile. Wherever your road should lead, we shall pray for your safety. And following your brave example, we shall continue to fight for the Crystarium. With or without us, you've always taken good care of this city. I don't doubt for a moment you'll continue to do so. I, a more resilient people we have never known. As resilient and enduring as the tower that watches over you. To the last, we did not question the Exarch about his past. It is only now, when he can no longer tell us, that we believe we know the answer. We have heard what became of him, and what is about to be attempted. All will be well. Of this we are certain. How could it be otherwise, when every soul in the Crystarium is praying for it with all their heart? And so, when our Lord awakens, I bid you give him a message. Tell him he needn't worry about us. That he need no longer hide who he truly is. That he should live his own life to the fullest. And that if he should ever find himself reminiscing on the past with a smile, we shall be smiling with him. Will you tell him this? Thank you. Please look after him for us. I dare say we have all the good wishes we can carry. Let us be on our way. No. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs>
I don't want to leave me. <laughs> It's time. Are you ready? How can I? No. All right. <laughs> Let's not keep the others waiting. Arguably, I'm very not ready. <laughs> no. All right. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Mistress Hackney, I have at this moment shown your associates in. It's strange to think that I will not have the honour of showing them out again. Now it's time to do my feisty lunch of <laughs> uh, Yes, I have done the alliance raids. Yes. But I am informed, informed that you yourself may yet return, and I look forward to welcoming you on that happy day. Now, if you would care to follow me. <laughs> Angelo stands ready to work his magic on our souls. It's a very long patch. <laughs> to be fair, I've taken quite a few breaks. Um... Uh, I did not expect such a rousing farewell from the people. It was the very thing my spirits needed. Now, all that remains is to return to the source. The twelve know we have made Kryle and Tataru worry long enough. In the spirit of solidarity, I bid you carry the vessels as if your life depended on it. <laughs> How many times have we few assembled thus in this storied chamber? Many and more, I think. While the Exarch standing before us, the scene would be complete. Nay, it would be complete were he standing before us with Emmett Selk smirking in the wings. True, true, true. Since we cannot take our worldly goods with us, I want you to have my gun blade. Use it or sell it, it's all the same to me. So long as it serves you in some way, I will be satisfied. Oh, look, I didn't realize she was holding it. Oh my god. Thank you, Thinkred. I'll treasure it. It's literally the size of her. <laughs> Just gonna grow into it. Hmm. Ah, there you are. I take it you are ready for the journey. The spirit vessels are primed and our company complete. At a word from you, we shall begin. You know, honestly, they've, even without the warning, there's been too many cutscenes that deserved a warning. <laughs> oh. You know what, actually, while Sarah adds, I'm gonna get a new <laughs> tissue. <laughs> One sec. One sec. Oh, 
Oh god! Oh no! I am prepared. I have some tissues. Longest had a stream yet? The longest stream I've ever done was 14 hours. But the second most was nine. So I got all my tissues ready to go. Oh, <laughs> my monitor is turning off. Sorry, the ASMR is very not ASMR. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. Welcome. Pocket tissues. Oh my god, I'm curious. Oh my goodness. Which was the most emotionally emotionally devastating? I don't know. I think it just was a hole. I can't really. Good. I shall distribute the vessels at once. Damn, Seto. Being all beautiful. How dare. All right, then. Pray proceed as instructed, beginning with your memories. Our souls, then. No pressure. <laughs> We're in your hands, Angelo. <laughs> I love her. Trust them to your care. They belong to you now. Just be sure to guard them well. Yes? Yes. This will work, won't it? I really hope so. Always. <laughs> Our theories have held thus far. But I make no promises about what is to come. Even the greatest mages in history knew better than to transport a soul across the rift. We, my dear, are in unknown territory. Sick. Prepare as we might. We cannot account for all possibilities. And it is in such circumstances that accidents are wont to occur. Yet miracles do happen. So let us pray and will our friends home. I won't stop praying until I know they're safe. 
all safely stowed away? I do hope so. All that remains then is to step into the mirror. Go now, and safe travels. I really hope I don't trip over. That's a lot of souls in my pocket. Oof. Oof. Did it? Are we? Thank you. My body feels like a sack of popotos, but otherwise, I have never felt better. <sighs> that said, I doubt any of us will be fit to travel for some while. May we leave the rest to you? Beareth our comrade's blood. With it in thy possession, the way will surely open before thee. Taru, might I trouble you to brew us all a pot of your special tea? Ah, and we may require an extra cup.
Yours is a long road, my friend, and it stretches onto places beyond imagining. With your every step, these grand adventures shall grow more distant and faint. And there may come a day when you forget the faces and voices of those you have met along the way. On that day, I bid you remember this. That no matter how far your journey may take you, you stand where you stand by virtue of the road you walked to get there. For in times of hardship, when you fear you cannot go on, the joy you have known, the pain you have felt, the prayers you have whispered and answered, they shall ever be your strength and your comfort. This I hope, I believe, here at memory's end. What is it, Alizé? I love her Are you so right? much! Do you still feel under the weather? Physically, I couldn't be better. Thanks to Kryle's ministrations, I'm already looking forward to our next fight. <laughs> but seriously, don't you have anything to say about that? I love her. than our garments. You've outdone yourself, Tataru. <laughs> to give credit where it's due, <sighs> I have to help from a certain fiery pixie who visited me in my dreams. They gave me all the information I needed to get the details just right. Beautiful. For your weapons, though, I needed a lot more help. Thankfully, our favorite heads of state were happy to place their finest craftsmen at my exclusive disposal. Oh, and speaking of the Alliance leaders, they all express their unreserved elation at your safe return and promise to come and see you in person as soon as they can. They really needn't have gone to such trouble, but we'll be keeping these gifts all the same. Do pass on our gratitude. Yeah. <laughs> I love her. I love her so much. <laughs> I realize we haven't taken up new martial <laughs> arts, nor have I ever been one to set much store by appearances. But I can't help feeling a certain lack of, I don't know, 
personal development. Oh my god, the animation they put into this. <laughs> <laughs> I quite understand. But as you observed, the others had the more pressing need. Rest assured, our turn will come. Look at the light! <laughs> She is the best character in the world! I love her so much! Oh, if I expend any more ether, I swear I will blink out of existence. I need a bite to eat. Oh my god. Fish bread, yum. Fish bread, not yum. Tataru, a cup of tea, if you'll be so kind, and something sweet. By Mistress Kryle's exhausted state, may I assume that the ward has been restored? Indeed. We succeeded in weaving it anew, albeit at a slightly diminished potency than when I had Beck Lug's assistance. It is no cause for concern, though. The tower is not easily reached, never mind breached. And even should some few succeed, their presence won't escape my notice. Excellent. Said duty thus discharged, thou art free to go wheresoever thy fancy taketh thee. Upon which note, hast thou perchance come to a decision? The offer remaineth open. Well, if you're certain what? that's what you... I, I, I mean, if you think I... Okay, sorry, I'm fine. <clears throat> Really? <sighs> right. <laughs> I accept. Henceforth, I shall count myself a scion of the seventh dawn. Grahatia, at your service. I'm going to crush you, Grahatia. I'm going to crush you with my bad hands. When I was a boy, many long years ago, I yearned to stand tall as the heroes of Eld. But like a fool seeking to pluck the stars from the heavens, my every attempt to reprise their deeds fell short. with a little rampage myself <laughs> what N now wait just a ali say consume the bloodlust become one with it <laughs> what is happening <laughs> here we go again What? I will join the fray when I finished my tea. Thus did the avatar of destruction descend and in her wake leave naught but tears and ash. One day, an all but forgotten dream from my youth stood before me, in the flesh.
my god. Oh, oh, oh. So it was that a new adventure began. end night after night and I thought it but a tired old dream I say I knew that securing the palace would provide your radiance with depressingly little sport but that you should fall asleep out of boredom Splendid. Truly splendid. And my own preparations, you will be pleased to hear, proceed apace. Oh, yes. They proceed very well indeed. Frighteningly so. And we owe it not least of all to this singularly useful body I chance to find. With the Populares now all but destroyed, it will be the simplest of tasks to discredit their groundless assertions that I met with a grisly end. And as the very much alive Lord of House Brutus, I have a vast fortune at my disposal. What is happening? <laughs> ah, money! Money, money, the great motivator. There is simply no better way to move men and expedite plans than with its alluring glint. Would you not agree? <laughs> <laughs> the puppy I adopted is crazy. <laughs> but wait, were we not acquainted, you and I? Should our familiarity cause you distress, I beg your forgiveness. <sighs> what did you say your name was? He's your number one fan. That is. Oh, a dagger <laughs> through my heart that my deepest desire should forever remain unfulfilled. To live unrecognized, to die forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> so it goes. Whatever this flesh may have been before, it serves only as a vessel now. And I, faithful Fan Daniel, labor only to advance my lord's ambitions. Speaking of which, with the palace in our hands, we may now proceed with the next phase of the plan. But how very odd. Despite all our havoc wreaking, old Elidibus did not deign to appear. Dare I hope that the last of the unsundered is gone? Don't you dare, little bitch. no more by the shackles of mouldering memories of damnable duty free at last to live for the moment kill him to <laughs> kill him Zeus, right now kill him <laughs> this puppy is not what i wanted your radiance but give the word and i shall go forth and prepare for you your hunting ground That which awaited was a fell beast. Ferocious, 
Ravenous. Remorseless. Do as you will. <laughs> I mean, he's having the most fun out of anyone in this cast, I think, so... Good for him. It has been too, too long, my friend. And insufferably dull in your absence. When you return to me, you will share everything. Every blow will be a story unto itself. Every triumph. Every kill. Rest assured, we shall have a fitting stage for our reunion. Damn. Mm. Oh, yes. To reprise that transcendent moment, I will set this world ablaze. And we shall dance before the pyre. To say I look forward to it would be an, would be an under-exaggeration. The shall kindle the flames of the apocalypse. Oh. Into its domain shall the hero set forth for the final chapter in the tale of this star. The one. The one? <clears throat> ah, look at him! Oh my goodness, he's there. He's real. He's a whole cowboy. He exists. Thank you so freaking much, uh, Mia and Akarad for the primes. Thank you so much. Thank you. I hope you enjoy the emotes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ah, big fuck. My favorite character, Big Fuck. Oh my goodness. Look at him. Graha, Big Fuck Tia. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I'm told Raha has shed with some of the tenseness he had as the Crystal Exarch. If you ask me, he's more relaxed than he's ever been. Why? The Raha of old would leap down from a high place just to make a dramatic appearance. Something someone did in some epic or other. And Alfino wasn't so different. Still, I'm glad to have them back safe and sound, boyish insecurities and all. <laughs> Everyone likes the garments I prepared for them. The time I spent polishing my skills wasn't in vain. In case you're wondering, Graha Tear is an outfit Grahatias is an outfit suited for traveling. While his weapon uses a piece of the crystal tower as the focus. Brilliant, right? Now, I know we probably shouldn't go around shipping bits of elegant relics, but it was just one little piece. It was worth it, don't worry. Don't worry. Hello, cuties. While things are quiet, I think I'll move my body around some more need to get used to the new tricks I learned in the first. To that end, I'll round up Hori and his uh, crew for a spot of sparring. Oh, and Graha too. In my capacity as his senior, I'm obligated to train him as well. <laughs> I love Alice and uh, I can officially now call him Graha instead of the Exarch. I love their relationship so much and she's just an absolute menace to him as she should be and he needs her to be sane and stop sacrificing himself. Um, <laughs> Graha is an outfit. Yes, just a crumb. Just a crumb. Who's your favorite Final Fantasy 14 character? Oh, it's Graha Big Fuck Deal. 
That's his real name. Uh, thanks to reports. I had known that all was well in the source, but there is no relief like seeing our comrades again with my own eyes. If possible, I would like to thank Astinian in person for the help he lent us while we were away. But it seems he has been not been heard from of late, such is his way. Bring him back to me. Well, until such time as we meet again, I shall ever pray for his well-being and take the absence of tidings as a good sign, as I do with our friends in the first. Bring me the Stinian. Give him to me. All is well. All is well. Enjoy the VOD. It's too long. Ah, you're back. Hmm. Tell me, Hakane. Do you think I was excessively familiar earlier? In my tone and mannerism? I thought it better to be familiar than formal if we are to be comrades. But now I worry that it may have detracted from the gratitude and respect I harbour for everyone. Perhaps we might consider it a nod to my regrettably less than humble beginnings. Yes, yes, that will do. <sighs> Being free to live as one pleases is not without its challenges. In a way, it was easier when I had a mission that consumed my every waking moment. It provided me with a focus, a constant push in a singular direction. By the way, was casting spells always so draining? I had quite forgotten what it was like to do with, without the tower. I've rarely felt so exhausted. Or oh, hungry. Yet, if all I did was bend the bow, I would be of limited use to you on your adventures, so I shall persevere. Whoever I might have been before, I am now a scion. An, an inexperienced scion at that. A green initiate, eager to learn how best to contribute to the cause. That he might follow in the footsteps of his inspiration. You are a little nerd. And you are the most sweetest. Ah! It's done? More! <laughs> More! Um... I suppose we want to take stock of the situation. By forestalling the Eighth Umbral Calamity, we have unwritten history. The future now lies beyond my ken. None can say what awaits, but so long as we stand together, I doubt not that but that we can overcome all trials. We have always done so, have we not? Hey, look at this. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> well now. I have my suspicions as to what this is about, but would you be so good as to confirm who you are? What you are? I just as I thought. They went ahead with it after all. The artisans of the mean... Shh, calm down, bro! The artisans of the mean had come to me with a proposal, you see. In celebration of the knight's return, they asked how I wished to be commemorated. On a coin or as an automaton? Neither, I replied, for all the good it did. They knew it would. I would be embarrassed. It makes no difference what name they give it. Yet still, they did it. <laughs> right, stubborn what they are. As befits the people of the Crystarium. They shall be fine without me, and Lena may rest assured that I do not worry for them. Nevertheless, I shall never cease to pray for their happiness. No longer am I a leader of a nation. Whatever power and influence I may have wielded, I left behind as surely as I left my body. But everything I have ever felt and experienced, all those things and more I have brought with me, you have brought for me. And I shall carry them close to my heart always, and to the end of my days. You're a little cute patootie, huh? You started when my wife just started. <laughs> Begging for his hand, Marge. Please. Grow her big fuck. 
NXT. I am on one knee. Please. Um. Oh, I might have gone to the wrong room. Thanks for the fun street. Thanks. It was it was a beautiful time. It was it was it was so very wow. And then so much pain. Like so much. So much. What the fuck is Endwalker gonna be about? I'm so, what? Though only a short time has passed in the source, for me it has been several long years. It is so passing strange to see how little has changed here in the Rising Stones. Sometimes I can't help but feel as if I'm dreaming. Then I see the equipment Tataru prepared for us, and it helps to bring me back to reality. Serene continues her fight in the first, and I must resume my own here. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Walking? To the end, maybe. As you know, in Seeker of the Sun culture, the title Tia indicates a male who does not preside over territory. In regards to this, Alfino came to me with a consultation. The Crystarium may not be a territory in the traditional sense, he said, but our friend governed it with great leadership nonetheless. As such, would it not be inappropriate to call him Tia? As it is by no means disrespectful to admit the title, I told Alfino that he is free to do so if he wishes. But I've one to intend to call him by his full name, at least until he has decided what he wants for himself in his new life. You, you, yeah. I, I just call him Big Fuck personally, so I. Whatever works for you. By thine account, the 14th seat of the convocation was known as Azam. At the title's distinctly familiar ring, mine imagination could not fail but run wild. Me too! <clears throat> From Azima the Warden in Iwaza to Azim the Dawn Father in the Far East, in nigh every corner of Hydaelyn do these deities revered as personifications of the sun share like names. Could they all perhaps trace their origin to the 14th seat? I did muse. Though it may near be proven or otherwise, such a theory, I do believe, lieth firmly within the realm of possibility. Scream. Scream. Well, time to do my feisty little chocobo. Um, I hope you're all excited. <laughs> As the thrilling conclusion to 5.3 comes to an end. Ah! Mm. Well, it's been real. I... I don't really have words, I'll be honest. I don't really know what to say. <laughs> I think I... Uh... Zero out of ten for me. Just crying, yeah, honestly. Um, I'm so lost and confused. Thank you so much, Minzukai. Thank you for the prime. I did. I did speak to Graha. Yes, about the the wind up. Thank you so much for the prime. Heck yeah, prime will say much. Thank you. Was this stream with the most crying? I don't know. Probably. The Thancred and Reen stuff really did. I cried a lot though during that. Um, I also cried a lot at the end of Shadow Race. <laughs> I don't know. I think Final Fantasy XIV is just the most crying in general. Um, I love Emmett. I love Emmett so much. My heart hurts. It's so much. I love Ali so. I love Elidibus. A little bit, my man. You deserve more. 
but also it was so good good job um oh my god yeah i get to read all the stories or something now oh my goodness wow i can't wait i'm sure they'll be pain free I met my beloved, my stinky, my shithead, my scrunkle, my baby girl. I love him so much. I miss him. Literally, I swear to God, they freaking... They don't keep people dead in this game. Just bring him back. Just bring him back. Uh, please, I, for me personally. I, I know I said it was bad when you brought back some people. Then I said, actually, maybe it's fine. But this time... It's time to bring him back for me. Um, for me only. I just would like him for me personally. I want him. He's mine. Um, thank you. Thank you for the congratulations. Um, anyway, thank you all for hanging out with me. I'm gonna go I'd probably play more Final Fantasy. <laughs> um, is it gonna be Endwalker after this? Um, no, I've got two more patches to go. Death won't stop me. I have AO3. Yes, yeah, for true. Fan fiction is the only way I can cope. Um Thank you all so much for hanging out. I hope everyone has the most wonderful rest of their days and a wonderful weekend um so i won't be back until next week and next week is the last week um last full stream of weeks no last last full stream week before i move to another country <laughs> terrifying um so there you go that's that and then i think there'll be like one stream after that and then i go i go fly uh, uh i always makes i'm scared um and then and then and then i'll stream again and i'll be back yeah anyway last full stream of weeks yes yes hope move goes well thank you i hope so too it's terrifying <laughs> thank you for the follow and then you'll be a Canadian. I will. Confirmed Canadian. I'm going on my own adventure. Um, yes. Anyway, thank you all for hanging out. I hope everyone has an amazing weekend. Um, I go cry more. Uh, yes, you can join the Discord. We have a lovely Final Fantasy XIV group on there. Um, if you want to chat with them or just in general, the Discord's very cool and pog. And also you can follow me on Twitter and also YouTube and all that jazz. Um, are you going, are you bringing Graha? Oh, yes, always. He's with me forever. Um, Xenos. Anyway. <laughs> My mind is mush. I hope you all have a good time. This was such a long stream and I need to just end it and stop talking. Um, thank you all so much. I hope you all have good days and... Good night. Goodbye. So long. Farewell. Bye. <laughs>